But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Well, yeah. Voices. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hello. Morning. I think I was just here, right? I, I, I was just here. Yeah, I think I, I just stepped out for a few minutes and then came back in. Well, we're back. Yes. It's good to be back. Hi. For now. Uh, wow, wow. What is everyone sending me? I guess our boss is leaving and everyone's tweeting articles about it. Uh, in the paper? The paper, the paper? Well, there's a big article today that Mel Carmerson's leaving us. Any, uh, We've known Mel that? for many, many years. Many, Mel? many years. Mel? <laughs> Although I haven't had a conversation with him in probably... In years, many, many years. <laughs> two years. In a while. Not even a conversation with the guy. Uh, yeah, I saw him recently. We'll see what he happens. He didn't say hi. Like, I mean, I'm not saying he hates me, but I don't think he likes me too much. Well, he probably hates you. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right. I saw him at the... Um, <laughs> last time I saw him was at the uh, McCartney show, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he nodded at you? Yeah, I had a couple of words. No. He's, he's good at nodding at you. A couple of words? Oh, I had a conversation with him recently. He was getting in the yeah. elevator, and he goes, Hey, you still work here? <laughs> oh. Like, real funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe we should be asking that about Howard. Oh, boy. Not us, the guys that are actually coming here every day. Uh, Yumping Yemeni. But I guess <laughs> Liberty Media is about to take over this joint. Liberty. Hope they like us. For your diabetes supplies. Believe me, dude, I want to I I, I get like my name us. on something quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Who knows? It could be like CBS. We love Open Hand, but yeah. uh, ah. we don't know about the other guy. He's too dirty. Oh, oh, oh God, I hope oh. that happens. <laughs> no, I, mean, man. I mean, I mean, I <laughs> mean. Oh, man. <laughs> we, got a new, we got a new suitor. Like my ex. Yes, we do. Uh, we got a new suitor. A suitor. We might have a new girlfriend soon. Could there be a, a romance in the air? Or or maybe not. Or maybe not. Maybe know. we're not uh we're not her type. This shit is going down soon, man. Yeah. So, and we'll see. That usually means uh, a bunch of changes. Yeah. Ch -ch 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 changes. Yeah, motherfucker. Wait, do you remember that from uh, the comeback? Mm. Did you see the comeback? Oh yeah. When this, this when, when she's in the house and the stepdaughter comes in and and, and set, asks her advice on something and she goes whoa, ch 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 <laughs> it's the most uncomfortable. Uh, oh, it's so douchey. <laughs> comeback rules. Yeah, that was a douchey. Oh, yeah. Ch 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 South Jersey Rich goes, yeah, Fareed is coming. No, oh my God. Fareed. I might have wrote Fareed recently. No. Oh, yeah. How could you even uh, I talk to him? I might have wrote Fareed recently. What a fucking I'm, I'm, piece of shit. I, I wrote, I've talked to Elo. I wrote Fareed. He wrote me back. Uh, did he? Um, he got some stock tips. I'm looking at my options. <laughs> stock tips? We're all looking at our options. Jesus Hi, Christ. Hi, Fareed. What's going on with you? Oh, God. Dude, it was the worst thing. She was just trying to express her joy that her stepdaughter had asked her something. Yeah. Oh. She's like, that, 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 she had on like those awful like sweatpants that are like wind windy sweatpants. <laughs> oh. Hammer time sweatpants. I think I think it was like the plastic ones if I remember. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Change your life. Are you a big fan of the the girls that walk around the streets in their pajama pants? I like that. It's becoming a thing. That. Oh my god. I like that a lot. You get to see their loose heinies. <laughs> Comfy. <laughs> their loose heinies. <laughs> Loose but taut. Yeah, it's good. Taunt or taut? Taut. 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 I like that, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? It moves around, but it moves around in a solid mass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. It's not like a mudslide happening back there. <laughs> mudslide. Uh, you want to hear a, a cute little story about a kid puking? Oh, no. Oh, no. Projectile? Oh, my God. First time a kid puked in my fucking car. Would that drive you nuts? Uh, you would you would throw the car away, right? Have to. You would have to throw your car away. And the I'd kid. torch it. <laughs> and yeah, the kid. The kid. <laughs> if my kid wasn't so cool, we would have had a problem yesterday. Oh man. I could I could, I understand some things. I understand some things parents do. <laughs> oh no. No. Nah, what happened? Did well, he... I um I was getting my car uh, serviced, and I told the guy. I said, look, I need the car before rush hour because I got to get the fuck out of town. I got some shit to do. Living in the limelight. I no. got to get my no. lunatic sister out of my fucking house and, and pass her on to somebody else. So get the fucking car done before rush hour, please. My sister is up from Florida. 
my half sister. Although, oh, by, right, right. I mean, she's my sister, but for yeah. discussion purposes, she's from my dad's uh, first marriage, the one that went horribly bad. <laughs> thus, then marrying my crazy mom. Mm. And what I mean by going bad, meaning dying at a very, very early age. Oof. I think she was like 26 or something. That's the only reason I'm here. This is my dad's uh, first true love. His high school sweetheart died. Oh. But anyway, that's uh, his kid and my sister from his first marriage. And man, she was telling me some fucking, some horror fucking horror stories about my mom. Uh, and I don't want, I just like, look, I want to just fucking live my life. I don't want to go back there anymore. Yeah. yeah. So it was time to get rid of my sister and move her on to somebody else. <laughs> but the fucking guy didn't get my car done in time. And so I had to leave the city in rush hour to go north, uh, north Jersey for the locals. I had to go over to GWB at 530. Yeah. I could hear it right now. I could hear it in their voices like, oh, fuck, seriously? I'm like, yeah. Because I'm not, I, I'm not a nine-to-fiver, so I, I luck out. I don't have to fucking drive in that shit. Yeah. It's one of the things we're lucky about. It's terrible. So I, I decide uh, to go Broadway up to the GWB. Have you ever done Broadway up to the GWB? That means staying in Manhattan. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got my kid in the back because I want him to have uh, to you know go say hi to his cousins up there. So I'm fucking making moves. I'm uh -oh. doing some Anthony Cumia shit. Oh, no. Oh, I'm making no. some moves. Not for the delicate little stomachs. Well, that's what I learned, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, no. My first mistake was I didn't put his movie on. <laughs> what I've learned from a very, uh, very early stage in this whole thing, you put a movie on for your fucking kid if you're in a car. You got it. Because that's what we got nowadays. We're lucky. I forgot to put his movie on. Because oh. what happens is his dumb little eyes, and I mean dumb in the sweetest, nicest way, by the way, because I love my kid to death, and I would fucking uh, kill someone over him. Uh, when they when they focus on the fucking screen, they don't notice the motion the of the moves, car. The right. So that was my first oh, mistake. Oh, no. And then I'm making the Anthony Cumia moves where I'm fucking stop, go, stop, go, yeah, fucking moving yeah. to this lane. Now I got to cut over here. I'm going through this fucking red light. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And all of a sudden he starts um, asking for his mom. Uh -oh. Am I like when um, I left mom home because she's very pregnant? Oh, oh no! And when we like go uh, separate, the kid's usually cool. He understands like, oh, I don't need mommy and daddy. I got daddy. I'm cool. But he starts whining for mommy, and I'm like, that's a little weird too. But that was that was sign number two. Sign number two that was just not acknowledged. And then he starts whimpering, and I'm like, that's weird. But he's been si we both been sick. I'm like, all right, he's still dealing with shit. Oh, and then uh, and then I looked at his eyes, and they were a little fucked up. <laughs> Oh, Parents know no. this. You can look at your oh. kid's eyes and realize they're a little fucked up. Oh no! And I'm like, ah. So, uh, make a long story short, right around Spanish Harlem, yeah. way up there in the 130s, 140s, mm. he fucking power boots at a red light. I mean, everywhere. Uh, I mean, everywhere. What the little guy have to uh, eat? <laughs> there was a hunk of cheese in there that made me on my puke. <laughs> <laughs> there was a hunk of cheese that came out. Oh, no. That's what got me. It was... It was brown. Uh, it was brownish in nature. Look at uh, it. Just because baby vomit goes everywhere. Oh, oh man. And it just power sure. boots. <laughs> yeah. He's in the back seat, and he's in a car baby seat. Right in the middle of the back seat. Right. Oh. Facing forward or back? Oh. Facing forward, man. Oh. Just, I mean, all through the intricate fucking seat belts of the, the baby yeah, seat. Yeah, yeah. All the, those all little the harnesses nooks and, and crannies. And uh, little buckles. His and... little uh, little uh, polo shirt is completely soaked in puke. He gets oh. motion sick, yeah. Oh, he's got it. Oh, man. And, uh, and I go to my sister. I go, look, I can't pull over. This is the worst part of Manhattan. And, oh, I mean, man. I, I was at one red light, and I, I could get my sister on the phone to back me up. There were gangs yelling at each other from yeah. across the street. Right. And then I'm looking like a, a, I'm looking around like a horrified white guy, and then there's guys in the median, you know, in between the lanes, laughing at me. They're like, yep, this shit is going down, and you're sitting here right now at a red light. Oh, it's basically shit. what they told me with their eyes. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So I go, I can't, I can't fucking stop. And from that point to the GWB, I can't stop. So at every light, we're both... We're both turning around with wipes and just wiping up just just mucusy puke. Ah, was he was fuck. he crying? No, nah, because at that point he was cool. Now he's now like, like, hey, I want to watch my fucking movie. Feel good now. Kids don't understand messes. They don't give a fuck. It's 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 you care about the mess. 
So every light turning around, every light just soaking it up and putting it in a plastic bag. And my sister's now dry heaving because she can't take puke. Now you got to soak that up. Those big pieces of brain and skull, you got to get that up. <laughs> yeah, I need the wolf. <laughs> I need, I need the, the wolf. wolf for your I need the wolf. <laughs> Where's the fucking wolf? <laughs> and then we're going over the GWB just... just Cleaning up puke all the way to my, oh my uh, brother's God. house Let's in Jersey. Let's not start sucking each other's dicks just yet, gentlemen. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and, and it still smells like puke, by the way. Oh, man. Ah. Oh. Well, that's the problem with living in the city. You can't just pull over somewhere and hose it down. There's, yeah. nowhere to, there's nowhere to pull over. There's literally nowhere to pull over in Manhattan. So how long did you drive with that smell? Like, like... A, a half hour. I decided to go for it. Because oh. at that point, my sister did an amazing job cleaning it up. So now he was just kind of soaked. Yeah. So, whew. and the worst part of Manhattan. So what happened when you got the, you took about the car seat out, you hosed everything off? No, I did not. I, I wanted to socialize. <laughs> oh. No, I didn't want to waste Let my time. Let it get all crusty. Because remember I said I had to go in rush hour, so I got there at 7. Oh, I mean, man. I have to be in bed by 9.30. I only oh, had a couple my hours. God. To be with my uh, brother and his kids. Whew. We put them, we That's got new brutal. clothes on them and stuff. And I gave him, like, a, a washcloth bath. <laughs> Clean him up, yeah. Does the car smell now? Yeah, when I pulled back into my building, uh, it still smelled. I uh, asked for some Febreze. I just sprayed it down. I said, look, I'll, I'll just fucking deal with this. I got to go. But it still smells. Uh, that's it's going to be horrific to by today. I'd yeah, have to You would go. throw the whole car away, right? I'd have to. You can get it out, though, because uh, I talked to Ruby, who drives me a lot, and he said that, you know, it happens. Like, sometimes a dog will puke in the car or a kid. Uh, he goes, it comes oh. out. If you get, it, get the car detailed, it'll come out. Ruby didn't say it happens like when uh, Ope's kid is in my no, he car. Told, that's how the conversation oh, okay. started. You know about that? Huh. This is the first time my kid has puked in my actual car, but he has puked twice in Ruby's car. Oh, man. And Ruby is an OCD freak about his cars. He's he has a, idiot. what is it, a Mercedes? Th he picks me or up. Or a BMW. It, I, I, he has a bunch. I get the older Mercedes. It's 10 years old, older. but it looks like he just bought it. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Yeah. He has a Mercedes that's 10 years old. Oh. I swear to you if, you, if you didn't know, I don't know cars. I would I would have sworn it was a brand new car. I did think car. it was new. Okay. I had no idea that it really was nice. My kid puked in that car oh, oh. on the way home from the airport after our big trip to Turks and Caicos. Oh, boy. One mile from the house. I think I told the story. Almost made it. Yeah. And he's like, don't worry about it. And I'm like, I'm kind of like you. I'm like, how much to make this go away? And I'm just peeling off money. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Can you got to give him a good clean up my kid's puke, but I'll make it worth your while. Good gratuity. Must be given in that circumstance. And then, we, then we rented a van when my wife uh, graduated from uh, college. It was a big deal. We had to go up to Fordham's, but I needed a big, huge, <laughs> fucking nice vehicle to get everyone up there for the graduation ceremonies. He puked in that, too. Jesus. So he's puked in uh, two of Ruby's cars. That's a good um, suggestion from uh, Fishman here. Uh, you need a dog, Opie, to clean oh, he the would lap that off shit up. after it pukes. Dogs love vomit. They really do. It's oh, nice and warm. Ew. It's probably like a, a friendly's fribble to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, no. He'd be there. <laughs> yeah, my, oh. my dog Fresca, rest his soul. He would he would lap up puke. Yeah. When we were growing up. He would lap it up like it was nothing. Nah, that's pretty disgusting. Like a rock star, he would lap that shit up. Yeah. And you know what those stupid tongues that would get in the nooks and crannies? Oh, every nook and cranny. Dogs are great like that. Of the intricate uh, seatbelt. That's why women love that peanut butter trick. They get right <laughs> in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hit the clit and the yeah. fold behind the labia, everything. Right. God. Places guys won't even go. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, dogs are like maggots on a fucking wound when they eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's when, that's when you know you love your kid, though. I didn't even give a fuck. I mean, yeah. if you were in the car, you'd be out of your mind, obviously. Oh, of course. I'm not yeah. stupid. But when it's yours, you don't fucking care, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, how that I just shit don't works. care. Nature blocks that stuff out. To it's get, weird. It, 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 so you could take care of... Yeah. It, it does a certain amount of that. I was, I was bothered slightly, I would be, to be honest with you. you know? Yeah. The radio wizard bothers me way more just walking past the studio than what happened car. yesterday. <laughs> huh? He's puked in your car. Oh, if, he, if he puked in my car, I would throw him off the GWB. <laughs> I would stop the car, and I would actually throw him over Something the side. tells me if he was in your car on the GWB, you'd throw him oh, off. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Something tells matter. me he would get out before the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would know better. He walked past me yesterday and knew not to say a word. He just was defeated again. Yeah. The poor radio wizard. <laughs> Maybe Mel could take him with him. <laughs> But that I don't know what where the story goes, but that's what happened to me. That's all you really need. It was it was uh, 
I guess the, I guess the <sighs> the highlight puking in the worst part of Manhattan. I think it's Spanish Harlem, isn't it? Broadway way up there. I don't even know. No, is that what? No, I don't it, think it's past, Spanish. Uh, it's past Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard, which oh. is nice because that's the heart of Harlem. I actually ride my bike down uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard now. Doctor, East is Harlem. Doctor, uh, Spanish yeah. Harlem. So what's on the west side? Just the, Harlem. It's bad. It goes up into Inwood or Washington Heights. It gets weird and bad up there. Oh, man. And you what? see a lot of, I'll just say you see a lot of colors. What street? A lot of colors. Not, not color. Right, right. Because you do see colored going old school, but you see a lot of colors, if you know what I mean. And I don't even want to say which colors because I don't want to piss off the other colors. Oh, they're all oh, kinds. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful colors. But you see them. Uh, they're, they're like, yeah, that's right. This is what we are. Yeah. And there's, and, and there's more than one, one color. Yeah. There's groups of colors, I should say. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And there's colors I've never seen. Yellow. I've st well, there might have been some yellow. Yeah, you or, know yellow or gold, whatever the one. Do I think the Latin kings are gold? Yeah, that's no. Latin kings. That's why I'm not mentioning which colors. <laughs> there might have been that color up there. And reds and blues, everyone knows. But yeah. usually, you see maybe one guy with one color. You know, you're in a bad area when you see colors. Two guys. Yeah. Colors. Yeah. Yeah. What were you at? Like Broadway and what? It was past Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard. I don't know where that, like, that's... If you go on a map, it starts to... That's the part of uh, Manhattan where it starts getting narrow. Now, is that, uh... Between Martin Luther King Boulevard and the GWB, yeah. it gets a bit shady. Yeah. Dr. Way more Dr. Martin Luther King. Way crazier. Did they spell it T-I-N or did they spell it properly? M-A-R-T-H-A. Oh. M-A-R-T-H. What? Oh, Mayor Menino. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'm ta, I'm Martha Luther Martha. King Boulevard. As we travel down Martha Luther <laughs> King Boulevard. Is that the GWB? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what area it is. Someone help us out. I have no idea. You might have been uh, beyond Not, Harlem. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Beyond Harlem. Uh, go to, where's Martin Luther King Boulevard? It's it's way before that there, uh, Sam. Way, keep going down. Is it 120, 134th? Yeah, it's Might somewhere. be 134th. It's somewhere. Yeah, see, Dr. Martha King. Martha. Luther Google. King Boulevard. Oh, wow. One. That's 125th. Fourth. Actually, oh, okay. I actually ride my bike, and I do. I hang out in that part of Harlem because there's a lot of culture and a lot of shit to see. And it, 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 during the day, especially, I don't feel like uh, yeah. I'm in danger. Is that where the Apollo is? Yeah. Oh, yes. Right on Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard. That's I'm fine. telling you, it's kind of cool to check out if you're ever in New York. Because people ask me all the time, don't go to Times Square. Fucking go up to Dr. Martin L L Luther King Boulevard. And I'm not and I'm not joking. And walk around during the day. I wouldn't suggest that at night because I don't know that fucking. But it's cool up there. I it's think like it's busy I am legend. At night. Huh? It's, it's no. like I am legend. No, you can walk around during the day, oh, but then at uh, yeah. night. You know, you got to go back to your house, pour bleach on the stairs, and yeah. <laughs> lock the doors. If you want, it's a problem at night. I'm not sure. Harlem used to be the the culture center of the world. Ah, so there's some cool shit to check out up there. I wouldn't like, I wouldn't go wandering off Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard too much, but I would definitely take that stroll during the day. Google Maps ought to have like, you know, how they get the satellite view and the traffic view. They ought to have an overlay for white people where it just like yeah. shows this red borders and boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> but my point, 125. I oh. that's fine. But I was way higher and it gets it gets oh that looks nice there's yeah, it's fine fine a little subway a little link lincoln fried chicken lincoln fried chicken i'll bet you it's really good <laughs> i bet wait did, are you at the start of martin luther king boulevard sam uh, let's uh, google let's take a ride down uh, dr martin luther king boulevard on google maps and this is your assignment sam if you if you don't mind i want to i want to know how many chicken joints and I want I want to know the names of them too. I like Lincoln Fried Chicken. That's a we good start one. with Lincoln Fried Chicken. They use uh, the name of uh, but Abraham Lincoln. But you get a higher, like twenty five to thirty blocks higher, and I, you will not see um, you will not see English on any of the storefronts. Yeah, it's cr uh, it's wow, wow, it's pretty crazy, wow, yeah. Oh well, we're on Street View. Uh, <laughs> Apple came out with an iPhone announcement yesterday. Then looked pretty good, you know. It's a little longer. Um, they kept the same width, so you could still use one hand and a thumb to do well, your little texting. Your old docks? Whatnot. Can you use? Uh, no. Give me your brand own. new dock. The uh, the lightning is it called? Uh, Wait, brand new dock, so you have to change all your shit. 
There's that, an, I there's, hate when cell there's an adapter do that. or just a brand new cord. Yeah, but the um, adapter will cost you too, right? Uh, well, of course, yeah, yeah. To adapt to your old uh, cords. Yeah, it's a, it's a I faster connection. It's that. smaller and it fits both ways, so you you know it's not. Well, just there's a always one. a reason why they do it, but they of want course. that extra. They want the accessory money. I don't think it's that as much as the the new phone is thinner. Um, there's a lot more shit in it, um, electronics wise. So they had to make the connector smaller right. to fit all the goodies in there and stuff. So well, that's what they say. But well, I don't think it's exclusively like, hey, let's make some money on an adapter. Well, my experience when I was in the BlackBerry world, which I'm way out of, I fucking hate BlackBerry. <laughs> I'm done with them. You're we'll not alone. Go, we'll, we'll never go back. But I, I hung in there way longer than I should have. They had the, they had the phone charger. Where they just changed it just because they wanted to fucking make That's you true, yeah. make you buy you know that yeah you know, you know the car adapter and everything else that goes with it. it it went from just being sort of well everyone knows and then they just made it just slightly skinnier yeah there was there was no reason to no do reason. that except look this is another way we can make money and probably why they're just a shitty company they blew it they had such a fucking lead in the smartphone world yeah and they blew it there's a uh, <laughs> there's a reason. You know, so they say for this one, Maybe. for this change. But, but they uh, also know that the, you know extra money will roll in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let me see your put this up against the uh, the Samsung um, the standard the iPhone 3. now. That's just the way. Well, it no, is but now. you're saying you're saying that it's not wider. Yeah, it's gonna so, be. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's not gonna be any wider than than that. this. Yeah, but it's gonna be another half inch. Yeah, but they could have taller. Look how much. Bigger my fucking Galaxy Three. Well, is. Will the and screen I don't... be the same length or no? The screen's going to be another half inch. It's wa- longer, uh, longer. But and no more, and no wider. And no wider. Why? That's like a little which more? Let's say fucking letterbox. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I, yeah. I like the size of Ops phone. Like the I... Galaxy S Three that because people are like you got to get it. I was oh, whatever. I was going to go off on something that doesn't matter to anybody. But um. The S3, I don't feel like I have a, a huge phone in my pocket. Right. I really don't. Yeah. They they felt like I they really wanted don't. to keep it where it's very handy in one hand. Like, I, I text with my thumb all the time. Yeah, I just too. one yeah, thumb, blah, 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 blah. Look what I do. Yeah, but you know what? Look what I do. But you're a guy. You know, you get a, a, a chick with small hand. Dude. All of a sudden, she, you know, look, like Voss. Look how sad these hands are. <laughs> They're pathetic. It's uh, They just decided they were going to keep it like this. Width wise, hmm, very I, interesting. I'd like to, I'd like the wider, uh, a little wider, sure. Dude, I, I, the, the wideness of this phone, it just makes seeing shit. It's awesome. Uh, that's watching the difference videos right there, side by side. You yeah, can but see. that looks a little wider. It's a li- no, it's actually not. No, I know it's not, but it yeah. just looks like it in yeah, this it could be fucking the picture. picture. One hand, a big fat hand on the left, and a thinner. Wait, put yours, hand. put yours up in the air again. Yeah. No, man, that's gonna look weird to be a little longer. A little longer. Well, and why are they making it a little longer then? Uh, to uh, the display as far as fitting a few more things on your a screen. few more apps and shit. Um, yeah, and and for the video. Yeah, but for the video, I, that I, I I don't. I think you're gonna I think you need wider. Do you watch? Vi- I don't watch video on my phone unless it's a quick. I watch uh, video Twitter. All I watch the time a lot of video. On my Never. Phone. I watch a lot on my phone. Because I don't like... A lot. It's so... Like, I see people on planes sometimes. I'll see them... It's amazing how uncomfortable people are willing to be. They'll sit there and they'll uh-huh. hold it sideways and watch a movie. Oh. What the fuck do you do? First of all, why that are you I holding it? Yeah. It's so small. I wouldn't do that. Like watching, watch a movie. Yeah, it's like looking through a Viewmaster. Yeah. You know, you an know, iPad or something. I saw the, uh, the Galaxy... What is it called? Samsung Note. Wow. What is it? I think the businessmen love that fucking thing. Oh, it's the like, iPad? It's like, big. It's like my phone, but it goes out to about here. Mm. Let the record show. About an inch and a half wider, probably. Yeah. But and and I was talking to a kid in the cell phone store. This kid, Greg. 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 <laughs> and yeah, he's just one of these fucking Manhattan fucking hip dudes. He's sixteen and already knows everything about the world. And uh, he was showing me. He put it in his back pocket. He's like, "Look, I don't notice at all, man. <clears throat> but it's big. And you gotta sit on it. But yeah. ba- basically, what they're saying sit is, sit on it, posse. You don't need your stupid iPad. It's big enough where pretty much everything you're doing on the iPad, you you could get away with on the note. Are new iPads the same size or the smaller? Um, iPad same size. What? Oh, the new ones are coming out. The- same size? Oh, later. Okay. But uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, could... I, I like the iPad though. Like, if I go home and uh, I don't want to like like watching something on the iPhone's too small, uh, but I don't feel like you know having the computer 
opened and running. Uh, the iPad's great for that, and I like the size of it. I don't think they should make it smaller. I agree. Like, like, cause you, it's not a thing that I carry around with me, uh, but I do like having it. You know, up in the bedroom, you just oh, wham, wham, you've got it in your hand. It's amazing. I'm watching Sweet. HBO Go on it. I have it set up because for some reason I can't log in on my laptop like a fucking asshole. Oh! I don't know what the believe don't get, but <laughs> it, I, it's fucking awesome. Except the volume on the iPads, but. What? When Bob Kelly told me about the iPad a few years ago, he goes, this the dude, you get, you know, you get to touch it, it it's Boom. gonna be like a touch screen. I'm like, yeah, it just didn't make he sense. Laughed. Right. I, I remember this yes. show. Like laughed. Recently, Wouldn't you just have a laptop? We yeah, laugh at we Bobby were... a lot with no, the technology. But and then he's usually right. Then he's right. <laughs> Fucking asshole. But, uh, but even <laughs> after Bobby was you know, came and went, we're like, This iPad thing is the dumbest idea. Why would you do that? It was too much of a hybrid thing. And now we totally we between all the phone get it. and the laptop, yeah. yeah. We all get it. What is that yeah. stylus? What the fuck is that stylus? A stylus. That's oh, the... for Galaxy. Who uses a stylus? You don't have to use the stylus. Why don't they stop but with that? You know what? I think that fucked up the marketing of this thing because the stylus, everyone's like, why would you go backwards and use a stylus? That looks terrible. They should the stylus be... is just an option. Right. But I don't think they made that clear when they were trying to market this uh, this note. Is it a smart stylus? They should put it down, and then the guy could use his finger right, and right. show either way. That's, that's right. terrible. Because the stylus could be convenient, to be honest with you, but it, but it, you don't have to use it if you want to use the they Galaxy should, Note. They should show stylus. Him sticking the stylus up his ass and then using his finger. <laughs> A cuke. Uh, <laughs> but the, the note is made for the business guy where he could leave his fucking iPad at home and has his phone and a screen big enough to get all his shit done and watch shit as well. You Do you know? remember styluses, how advanced they looked on smartphones oh, and stuff? God. like With the little slot for it. And everyone lost their stylus. Everyone did. It that was, was the nothing problem. you could fucking hang on to. I didn't know what to do with my hair. I lost my stylus. <laughs> then you didn't know where to get a new one. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, they still haven't figured that out. Writing down, like actual handwriting on a, a, a smart glass has is not perfected yet. It just looks shitty. Like, it looks you... shitty, but it, it, usually now they convert it to regular text. Oh, okay. Can, it's getting yeah. better. Siri's getting better, too, I noticed. Maybe it's, I'm just talking clearly. There's a new option, too. With uh, Well, there's new additions to Siri on the new iPhone oh. also where you're, uh, it includes like sports scores and whatnot. So you could just say, Siri, what's the score of the Yankee game? And it'll give you the score wow, during the cool. game and shit like that. So what yeah. else? What, do you, what else are you getting with the iPhone five? Uh, you get a longer uh, display. Uh, oh. Yeah, longer display. Uh, new chipset. What's that? Wow, that was cool. <laughs> what they just did on the note in the video. They're actually using the finger now. There was video on top of the screen, and the guy took his finger and dragged the video to the bottom of the yeah. screen. That was pretty fucking cool. The yeah. note is. Uh... For someone like you, Jimmy, that travels, you might want to look into it as just a little, maybe a second phone or something. Well, note. If you got two phones, I mean... Well, know, I do. Then you, I mean, instead of having two iPhones, you might want to look into that just to see. I have a good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. Ooh, but, naughty ooh. boy phone and a good boy phone. I like the... Um, what they, else about this? So it's, They have like a passbook feature Yeah. where you, you store... Um, could you go to the uh, Apple thingy? Are people blown something? away by this announcement? Uh, it's just time for a new phone from it's Apple. It's time for a new phone. Are they blown away with what they were told yesterday? Uh, no, you know what? I think it's become such commonplace now. It's it's very hard to blow people away. Like the initial announcement of the iPhone was unbelievable. A couple of the other um, improvements, but now it's like, all right, it's just a new iPhone. What's the headline here? Just the longer screen? Yeah, yeah. The 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 change in the design. That um, seems weird to me. I would have went slightly wider before longer. Uh, and they they have they do have some features that were taken directly from the Samsung thing. The pano rip it off Samsung, pretty good. Motherfucker like that. The uh, <laughs> face recognition. Yeah. Um, yeah, like things like uh, coupons and um, coupons and uh, airline boarding passes and whatnot. You store in your passbook and just scan things uh, cool. that way, which is I kind of like where that's headed. I kind of like having some of your shit on your phone where you can pay for things and get those whatever discount if you if that's what you're doing or other countries have been doing that for a while scan things like if you like let's starbucks say starbucks has is one starbucks, of the only ones right movie, movie theaters they like if you buy a ticket online i like the idea that you just have your phone you walk in you don't have to fucking look or talk to anybody you right. just pass by something and it scans it and you know it's the it's paid for and, and that's that I like that idea. I like taking fucking the human equation out of things. I love it.
That's what we're doing. Yes. You can board your plane. And this is right. the weird part. This happened after 9-11. Yeah. You can board your plane, with not talking to anybody until you get the security with carry-on. Right. Or you don't have to talk to any gate agents or anything. Yeah, yeah. You self-check out. I don't like that. What do you mean? I self-check out. I do, too. At CVS, it rules. You're... Oh, oh, uh, what? At CVS? Yeah. CBS has CBS? Too, yeah. I haven't seen that. I usually still go up to the fucking Spanish girl behind the counter. <laughs> CBS has self checkout. Next. But then they have a they, then they have a dummy just standing there at self checkout. So then I'm thinking, well, why don't you get your ass behind a fucking cash register? Yeah. It seems like a waste. Uh, they're always just trotting around with one person behind the counter. I like, uh, that. I like that self checkout. Yeah. What else do we got there, uh, Samuel, on the uh, iPhone? The big announcement yesterday. I was pissed because I couldn't find the actual video feed of the um, keynote. I don't know if they they do it. Do, do they do they broadcast it? They do it late. Is the because I, I saw like everybody covering it. I saw a bunch of like podcasts of people covering it, but there was no actual video. That was kind of annoying. Is the iPhone still made in China? Of course. Oh, well, you don't have to show the, the Wait, keynote. What do you mean, Just of course? Show, like, the features. Why couldn't uh, Apple figure out how to make that shit in America? Because of... Uh, I, I I'm going to blame that. the unions. I'll blame the unions. Wow, man. We got union guys listening right now. I know man. we do, what but, the but they, they also what know the that... Fuck? Why, why the fuck would Apple go, yeah, you know, I have some national pride, and I want it made in the United States, uh, but this guy makes uh, $57 an hour when I could have some uh, a cute little Asian kid... Uh, soldering it together. Oh, these for, are all made uh, in China. Yeah. yeah, that would be a big fucking, you know, uh, what pump? Um, I don't. Uh. <laughs> a, a big, uh, let's say, uh, influx of uh, an, work into an the economy. Economic uh, sure. boost, and uh, that. Thank you, an economic boost for America. You know, there's uh, there's a uh, there's a mid ground between uh, management and labor. That uh, it, it's just when you get a labor union, it's so that way. That that a, a, a manufacturer is going to lose money by making right. things in the United States, or have to charge like we're, you're paying what four or five hundred for an iPhone. They'll go, yeah. okay, we'll make it here, but it's going to be a thousand dollars for the iPhone. Right? People aren't going to buy it, and it's just exactly the same people that are bitching about jobs leaving the country won't buy it because it's too expensive. Uh, but but the truth of the matter is, the unions were good years ago when when labor was fucking completely taking uh, when management was yeah. completely taking advantage of uh, the labor force. I understand that, but it's gone so far the other way with unions that a lot of companies can't afford to have American labor anymore. Uh, that uh, making things it's too expensive. Right. That's why we don't make anything. We we're a, right. we're a, we're a consuming country. We don't make anything anymore. We should be making the iPhone and all Apple products here. Oh, my here. God, Apple. Yeah. Apple is so... Parts are made in the U.S., but uh, the majority of it is just I'm sure stuck together in China. Apple <laughs> seems like one of those companies where they try to do the right thing. Yeah. To a point, and then they're like, yeah. oh, we can't. we got to go to China. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, America. The front-facing cam uh, is also... The one that faces you is also now a 780p. Uh, you could do FaceTime over your cellular connection. Um, Wait, cellular, you mean with a 3G or 4G? Yeah, and they also have the LTE, LTE. now, which is a lot faster. What's that? Uh, it's a part of the um, data exchange um, on your cellular yeah, provider. Like if you get good service, it can, it can be faster than Wi-Fi. Faster than Wi-Fi. And it's for, over cellular. For your data, over cellular. So when can you use LTE? Whenever, whenever you're in um, LTE service, LTE service, yeah, oh, I think AT and T, Verizon uh, has it, so yeah. you don't have to worry. You'll have L uh, LTE. Oh, wow. Have you uh, used the self checkout on the phone itself, like in the Apple Store? Yes, once. You have to crazy. download the app real quick. What do you mean? You self check out an Apple. Like you scan, you download the Apple Store you app on the phone. You do everything yourself and just walk out of the store. Yeah, you scan. I'm talking to anybody. You take the product off the shelf. Yeah. You scan it. Yeah. It takes your credit card from iTunes that it already has. Yeah. You click pay, and then you just hold it, and you can either ask someone for a bag or just walk out. How do you know they have that service? I. You don't know like about in that the store. I, they told me when I was checking it. out. All really? Apple stores have it. Oh, all Apple stores. Apple stores. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I thought you were just somewhere, anywhere. <laughs> You're just going. Uh, I I just it's, start scanning things and walk out yeah. with the well, fucking. Well, walk it, out with my merchandise. It, it, it's cool because you really feel like you're stealing, which is yeah, kind of yeah. fun. <laughs> it's kind of fun for everyone. That is fucking great because it's I weird. don't like waiting on those lines. No, you feel like you're gonna get like uh, you know pulled down to the ground. 
Yeah. Even though it's all on the up and up, but you're like, there's something but about ha- this. But what if you just make right. it look like you're doing it and you walk out of the store? I'm sure an alarm goes off. Yeah, there's really? got to be something in the back that yeah. tallies things up and stuff like that. You think they haven't figured that out? I know. Of course they have. Yeah, they got something. But it's all a- stores will have that. You won't be asking for help. You'll just be checking I your shit that. out and walking. It's going to be like the future is just going to be these empty stores <laughs> with people walking by. <laughs> boop! <laughs> boop! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's the checkout sound. Yeah. And it won't be a phone. It'll be a... It would cost... A, oh, go ahead, Jim. I'll say a you-know-what in your finger. Yeah. Like, what, the movies and stuff like that? All oh, that's just going to come off the little uh, fucking uh, chip with that in your finger or, or your eye. Your retina scan will take care of everything. Is this on air or is this a commercial for the iPhone? Hey, fucko. Uh, just block It was him. just announced yesterday. It's called News. It's called What's Happening in the World, you fucking idiot. That's right. Shut up! Block Bill G. I, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I don't, yes. I don't, I don't. If I see your name fucking pop up, I'm bouncing you. That's I, right. I, I don't even humor idiots anymore. I'm long gone as yes. far as humoring yes. idiots. I used to try to reason with them and talk to them. It's like, all right, I get it. You oh. need to just go away. Look at you. Goodbye. Ah, you fucking hillbilly. Shut up. Uh, it would cost $62 more to make it in America, the iPhone, supposedly. Wow. Per unit? How, How much? 62? 62. It's got to be more than that. No, 62 more. To make it. Oh, yeah. If oh, they didn't go well, to China. China. That's a lot of money. That shows you. me there's a problem there. Yeah, definitely. Our... F- our first problem is like treating every human being as equals. That's right. Yeah. China, China got that shit down. Caste system. They realize, look, man, not everyone is, you know, a, a, a full human being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That whole capitalism <laughs> slash communism thing they've worked out there is really odd. Talk about an upper echelon and a fucking scum of the earth. Talk about an economic divide in China. It uh, it's quite amazing. Which is amazing, considering, uh, see, I want to say something that would really work, but I got scared. Oh, oh, why, the Chinese? Well, they all, uh, you know. Oh, boy. Hold on. Let me put my finger on the dump button. <laughs> it's, it's, hold on. All right. It's going to write down something here. That's right. It's, uh. C-H-I. Uh, considering they uh, all, uh. Oh, boy, yeah, that's. It's so uh, weird that they actually look and go, no. No, not we you. We see that, no, we're not but you. All. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's strange to me. Well, it yeah. can be at times, let's just say. It's like with both iPhones. Yeah. Like, when you look at one iPhone, it's kind of hard to tell it apart. Which one? From right another now, iPhone. Which one's my AT and T one, and which one is my Verizon? Very one? difficult See, very to tell. Difficult. There is a difference. One is better than the other. Yes. Very hard to tell apart. Yes. Right. Oh, but but very hard. Uh, the new know. one now will be easier to tell. Oh yeah. Mm. Are you gonna get it? Uh, you know, of course. I'm that guy. It's got the new iOS on it. iOS. Oh, it 6. does. Do you save your old iPhones? Or do you get rid of them? Oh God, Jimmy. What are you doing? I, I that my, drives me nuts. <laughs> I have them get rid of it. in boxes. Oh, uh, why? Because oh. I'm Because collector's sweet. items. They're going to be collector's items. Someday, yeah. yeah. There's only 30 million of them sold. You're going to pawn fr- it or sell it. You know how freeing it would be to just throw that box away? You'll never turn those old phones on again. I want to skip it on a I lake. Want, I keep thinking I want to use them as storage devices. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? why? You're right at this. Why? You could buy a fucking I know. hard drive with a terabyte on it. It's nothing. I don't want a scary bite. Ah, Take see, us out, you no, farm animal. We just got here. Oh. <laughs> uh, you got you got to deal with union guys, and I'm sorry. No, I understand. I'm sorry, but, but you know the union guys obviously are going to be pro union. Well, let's uh, get Anthony on the line here. Anthony. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey buddy. Hi sir. What's happening? So, listen, I think I'm, that I'm uh, me. management takes a pay cut instead of us uh, getting beat up on the labor end of it. Be a little bit way to keep the cost down on making these phones here in the United States. The That's true. Abroad. Manager's not really taking big pay cuts, it seems. Yeah, I That's hear true. you. I hear you. But, uh, you, you, I mean, some of these jobs, these union jobs, um, I don't know. Seems like a lot of money for something that um, uh, overseas people are obviously going to get for cheaper. Crazy. I agree. I mean, you, can't, you can't compete with union labor, though. Yeah. Oh, really? Should I look for the union label when I am buying? A... Absolutely. 
All right, well, that... I talk to you on my Chinese cell phone. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and drive my uh, Chinese car. At least the car's American. Oh, good. The phone is cell phone. Mm. God bless America. All righty. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Mr. Take Yoon. All right, so it doesn't sound like the iPhone 5 was an amazing fucking uh, reveal yesterday. No, they do. Have Not a... a bad reveal, don't get me wrong. But Yeah. But I guess... Uh, I... It, it it can't be this wow moment every single time they uh, announce a new product. Yeah, that's just it. It's become something where it's like, all right, you know, when, when they announced the initial iPhone, there wasn't one person watching that didn't go, holy motherfucker, this is changing the entire phone industry. They still had buttons. Remember, yeah. phones with fucking buttons? And then the, the iPhone came out. Everybody was freaked out. Uh, but, but now as it goes along, I mean, we're on the fifth incarnation here. I, I and uh, yeah. I finally found a phone I'm really happy with. This Samsung I love, the S3 I love. I love yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of Galaxy people. S3. A lot of people are digging on the uh, fucking Galaxy. love it. And and as, I will not be buying an iPhone five. As far as uh, uh, phones go, I mean, anything that came out before the Galaxy three like that was just kind of like, all I, right, I, I see, it's an iPhone ripoff and stuff. But that actually, they they and it's figured a bigger it out. phone, but it, yeah. I don't feel like uh, you know you it's cumbersome it. at all. Are the apps do they work as well as they do on the iPhone? I, I don't know because I mean, I'm, my wife's got a, she's got a iPhone. So I, I play with it a little bit. I, I like this just as just the same. I'm sure I'm sure the iPhone has more apps. Than I like the convenience app, of going to the the app store and on the phone and just being able to fucking download shit like that. I've been I mean, able to download whatever I wanted. Yeah, I so understand far, as far as apps go. But I'm not an app guy like you guys I as hate much. Learning a new I uh, I got iOS. apps, but not as much as you guys. OS, yeah. I hate learning a new operating system on a phone. It's like oh, you're not learning anything. You're just uh, tapping. Yeah. Hey, I'm your toes tapping. are still tapping. <laughs> you, you guys do Flipboard yet? Huh, what? No. Flipboard rules. What the fuck is that? Just you just flip through your shit. Oh. Look. Oh, yeah. You set up what you want to flip through. Oh. Like in my case, I got the Facebook, the Twitter. I got the uh, Flipboard pics, photography, sports, news, oh. pop culture. Oh. And then you go, all right, I want to go popular video. Let me see what's popular today. And then you flip through like this. Until you see some you like, and then you click and uh, either view it or read about it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Does uh, <laughs> iPhone has uh, an app for Flipboard, right? Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know what they have. Uh, I don't know what they got. Native oh. Flipboard thing. I like the Flipboard. I like the maps now. The yeah, what? 3D maps. They killed all the native Google apps. Yeah. So even YouTube app is not native anymore. I mean, there what, is. What do you mean by native? I'm not sure what you mean. Like how uh, it used to come with Google Maps and YouTube built in, like when you bought it. Yeah. Now they changed it so Maps is their own app. They designed it themselves, and it's Apple. Not, yeah, it's not Google Maps at all. And YouTube doesn't come with the phone anymore. You have to go into the app store and get the new. So what's YouTube their version app. of their YouTube uh, app? They don't have one. What's but you know they're probably going to figure well, something out. We just go to right? the app store and download it. Oh yeah. Gotcha. So Why is that? So they want a little. Because they don't want to, they don't want to be working with Google, obviously. Okay. Yeah, it's Google. Android, so. they're, yeah, they're kind of that's the yeah, Android operating system. You're you're start, starting to see this encroachment of uh, of corporate war going of on in, in this electronic uh, of course. medium. They yeah. won't say it, but yeah, but that's exactly why they're doing it. Wait, they don't so want to promote Google in any way? So iPhone doesn't have Google Maps. They have their own version. Yes. And what is it called? Maps. It's maps, maps, and it's a 3D kind of a. And it's thing. turn by it's turn. Turn by turn, directions. Yeah, it's pretty much a navigation system it's cool. on your phone, which is pretty good. Apple, uh, Apple wants to take over the world, and so yeah. does Google. Right. Yeah. Who wins? Apple, I think. Because... Is this like a Betamax versus yeah. VHS, VHS shit thing? Yeah. Who wins? Apple's uh, going to look or... a lot prettier. Or do they Apple's work together got eventually? A lot no, of they're... fucking money. <laughs> but it, it, I don't. No, I don't think it's beta versus VHS. I think it's no, more no. Exxon versus mobile. Two, two of kind of very similar things in a fight, and one is not going to completely wipe out the other because it will become obsolete. But one is just going to be more like uh, higher on the yeah. ladder. That's all. I like that how it lays it's like down. Like Getty versus on the map. Yeah. The map kind of lays down, gets three D, and uh, versus BP. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah. That's it, huh? Yeah, I was thinking more Coke versus Pepsi. <laughs> Coke versus Pepsi. Go zoom in on that, Sam. I want to see that. That looks kind of cartoonish from here. Yeah, but it's real. Go to me and Jimmy's houses. Yeah. I mean, it's not. That's, that's not. See if you can look, at, see if you can look in the window. Check out it. my juicy cock. It's just a screenshot. Not the phone. <laughs> well, why don't you zoom in on it, you fucking creep? Not the phone. Oh, because no. you it's can't use it yet. It's not yeah. out yet. It's, this is no. not the phone. Why can we pre-order it? Uh, uh, next week. Oh, good. Tomorrow. Yay! 
That Tomorrow you can no pre-order it. Uh, uh, good. Yeah, and then it comes out on the what twenty first, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, that Almost is pretty good. Wow. wow, that's actually really good. We got a guy. Oh no, that needs to talk to us, right? Oh, cool. Let's get him on. <laughs> <laughs> Frederico, this oh, guy. Hello, geez. Mr. Bibble. Am I on the show? Frederico, uh, welcome to the Opie and Anthony uh, show, starring Lil Jimmy Norton. Dude, you know what? You guys are the best. Listen, I've been listening to you guys for like over five years. Two oh. times a second, man. Hello? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? And uh, what's up, my friend? My friend, like seriously, I, I am holy lit. I can't believe it, man. Like I'm just like <laughs> astonished. I'm sorry. I'm just such a douchebag. But anyways, I just want to tell you that, uh, yeah, listen, by the way, this freaking we're all being apt. We're all being like six six six. Everything is being like underground. Mm. Like seriously. Oh. Yeah. What yeah. do you mean? Yeah. Well, we're just being chipped, Mike. What's that? We're all oh. being slowly. Oh yeah. What do you mean by <laughs> apt though? Like uh how does it affect you? Well, we're gonna be like underground uh holy shit, I can't believe like we're being Yeah, we're gonna be like like the uh government Everything, oh. man. Like, everything is going to be chipped. I agree exactly. with them. <laughs> yeah. Um, the conspiracy terrorists. Oh, Holy man. crap, that's good. <laughs> that is good. This I'm guy zooted. No, you're not a douchebag. I like, I like what you have to say today. Yeah, you're making like, sense, dude. I think it needs to be said. What, yeah. what part of Canada, sir? Uh, Alberta. Oh. Where's that? Calgary. Yeah, like, is it way in, uh, douchebag. Uh, a Listen, it. it's called Sonoka. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, yeah. Like seriously, like. Wow. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. Seriously, boys. Yeah. We gotta be. You know, you guys are very commercial. I think we gotta be so. diligent, don't you think, Frederico? <laughs> yeah. Diligence. Yeah. We need diligence, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Before I know. Dillinger. Sorry. Yeah. Before it happens. <laughs> Double guns. Yeah. <laughs> Made out of soap. You're fucking nutty on a fruitcake. <laughs> what do you think? You know what? We have to. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Yep. right. I think you're Good right. Good point. About that. Good point, sir. You made that point. <laughs> We're just I reiterating the point you made yeah. because uh, I think you're onto something. He is. <laughs> Go with it, sir. What else about that? Well, I just think that uh, we need to be um, just be very careful uh -huh. about the. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. I think you're not wrong. I, I think this is a conversation that needs to be uh, said. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the All idea. Right. Sure. Well, or had. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to create uh, the negative energy, but I think that we need to understand that there is definitely a a, a, uh, a divide going on. Yep. Pardon me. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Why is that a good one? A divide? I don't. It's hilarious. I don't, I don't see the humor in that. That's funny. There's an absolute divide. It's happening. funny. Background. <laughs> 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 Word. Uh, I can't believe I'm on the show. Yeah, yeah we can't believe it either. From the listeners. <laughs> Obviously, calling it in today. Okay. The last thing I can say, like, oh. as, like you guys are. Awesome, man. You guys, I yeah. love you guys, man. You're the Thank best, you. man. Thank Can you. I, going on. Thank you. Frederico, you've been listening for five years? Yes. Can I ask yeah. you what, because I'm a little confused, what you like about the Opie and Anthony show? Oh. oh, what do I like? Yes. Yeah. Um, I love Patrice. Uh, <laughs> uh, was it Patrice plug? Uh, was it Patrice? Yeah, I think so. I'm a little slow on the switch. Yeah, well, no, that's fine. Go. Patrice would understand. Of course he would. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right. time to eat my sandwich. I want to get a honey boo boo uh, update. Ugh. Is Roland here yet? Pig. So worry about it. People Pig. enjoyed the honey boo boo interview yesterday. What movie was that? What? Remember that guy? Uh, what are you going to do? Pig. Remember that guy? I don't know, but it sounds like Ted Levine, unless it's just. Uh, I, I, I'm not I sure who it line. was, but, but he was like spitting, and, and it was one of those cop things, almost like. Um, Almost like a dirty Harry kind of a thing. Pig. Mm. It's just this fucking. Was it Cobra? 
Cobra. Was it Cobra? Cobretti? Yeah, it's Cobra's coming in. Pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cobretti. Oh, oh Cobra. It's Marion Cobretti. <laughs> That's terrible. With the sunglasses oh. and the fucking toothpick. You're the disease. I'm the cure. <sighs> if the disease is good dialogue, <laughs> you are the cure for that. <laughs> what a cheese dick. Oh, that was a horrible movie. Cobretti, get in here. Oh. Oh. What has he done this oh, time? It's crazy. Look out. Yeah, why Look would he be allowed I'll to, have your badge. Why would he be allowed to be on the force? If oh, he's always crazy. fucking up. Because he always gets it done. But In he gets end... it done his way. Ah, yes. Now I understand. Hey, well, you know, I'm just doing it my way. Yeah. Was that Ted Levine? Do you like when a cop goes rogue? Watch that. No. Oh, a cop goes rogue. rogue. You're not a fan of when the cop goes rogue? He's no. a rogue cop. <laughs> <laughs> doing it his way. Oh, God. I don't play by the rules. He don't play by the rules, but he gets the job and, done. And it's always because of something that happened to him in the past. Yeah. <laughs> Man, where he was yeah. following the rules and it went bad. But his and, wife and was loved murdered. One. Yeah, a loved <laughs> one got killed and he turned And now rogue. he's taking it out on society. <laughs> oh, God. I'm rogue. Yes, Kenny? May I comment? Sure. <sighs> the ends must justify the means. Completely ruining the energy. What the bit. fuck? Completely well, ruining the energy. He's saying that in his world. Yeah, right. Rhythm going. No, this is what Kenny. No, no. What he, what you just saw there is what he says in the mirror every night before. This is how he sleeps with himself. <laughs> if people want to know how does Kenny live the way he lives, that's at the end of the night. Yeah. Yes, I did this wrong thing to people and that wrong thing, but the end justifies the, the means. The end justifies the means. Because he was going to hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't Ted Levine in uh, no. Cobre Cobre Cobretti. Was he in Cobretti? No. Cobra? Marion Cobretti. What a terrible what? fucking Lieutenant movie. Marion Cobra Cobretti. Yeah, no, uh, uh, how embarrassing. Uh, of course he's a lieutenant. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he just, you know, even though he shirks all the rules and he skirts them, he gets the job I'm done. Done. Yes, done. You want a bad guy taken down, you send in Cobra. He doesn't sweat. He just walks around with his shades and he knows where to go and a point. Yeah. What what else does the rogue cop do? I don't I don't negotiate with with what was it scum or some dumb corn. dirt balls? Yeah. He said something you find it was on terrible. Cobra. I don't negotiate with. What else does the with, rogue with cop what, do? What, what well, the rogue it? cop yeah, yeah, will eventually get his badge taken away. He only right. gets it back at the end yes. begrudgingly. Here you go, Cobra. He always has a conflict oh. when it comes to relationships. He he can't settle down. And you know what? Don't look for him in a fucking cop car. Right. He has his cool personal car oh, that he right. uses. Uh, yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. out. Can we watch the, we watch the trailer for this awful movie? It's also <coughs> a new kind of cop. A new kind of cop. Meet Cobra. He does the job nobody wants. <laughs> does it his way. Sunglasses are on. Inside. During a gunfight. Takes a sip of the beer. A sip of beer. Right. A course, by the way. Use unnecessary deadly force. I used everything I had. Do you know you have an attitude problem? Yeah, but it's just a little one. Oh! oh watch out! You recognize me if you saw him again. The tall one? Yeah. The one that wants to kill you. Do what you have to do to get a lead on this maniac. Uh -huh. And if I find him, do what you do best. Oh! oh! <laughs> Steroids. <laughs> <laughs> do what you do best. He's just throwing bombs into traffic. That's yeah. Crazy. He's firing willy nilly into crowds. I hate the match in his mouth. He's got the match set. Stallone is Cobra. Cobra. Oh. The strong arm of the law. Ah. Oh. This is humiliating. <laughs> How embarrassing! I like it. He's rude. Oh, how terrible! And then do what you do best. All right, I'll put uh, on gloves and fight for the fortieth time. Uh, overact. <laughs> Poorly. Say stupid things. Uh, you're the disease. I'm the gear. 
Do what you do best. <laughs> Write cheesy dialogue. <laughs> he doesn't have a holster. He just shoves the gun down the front of his Why? pants. Why? Because he's the strong arm of the law. Uh, of course. Cops always take a sip of the beer. Yeah. And that's the way it works. A beer with sunglasses on inside a supermarket as you're having a gunfight with the, a bad guy. And he shoots <laughs> accurately. I mean, of that is the way it does. happens. Well, he did have uh, time to have a beer, too. Let's not do you know that. how much damage you did out there, Cobretti? As much God as, damn it, Cobretti! Uh, yeah. As much as needed to be done. <laughs> yeah, as much as I needed. Hey, I got those people out of there. Uh, oh. hey, hey, I'm hiding the hair lip. <laughs> well, we know. God <laughs> we know. God bless. <laughs> Godspeed. Godspeed. Good luck to you. Cobretti likes women who shit on tabletops <laughs> made of glass that he's sitting under. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's a fetish, but it keeps me relaxed in my topsy-turvy world. <laughs> <laughs> Cobretti likes a nice, firm shit. <laughs> you're, the, you're the log, and I'm the toilet. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just trying out catchphrases. They don't work. Just do do what you do best. <laughs> Just do what you do best. Consume it. <laughs> <laughs> this turned to shit eating again. Of course, it all go back. Shit eating. <laughs> I like the concept uh, of the rogue cop, though. Watch yeah, out! Yeah, look out! Watch out! He's a rogue cop, all right. And he finds that lady, that special lady, by the end. Based on the novel Fair Game. Oh man, God, that sounds be must horrible. have been a good one. It based on a novel. I wonder if it was as bad as Fair Game. <sighs> I wonder if in the thing he takes a swig of the beer and he might have cheese dicked it up. I totally. bet he cheese dicked it up. Yeah. They made it for Stallone. Cobra. Cobra. Lieutenant Cobretti. Lieutenant Marion Cobra Cobretti is out on the streets. The irony of the scum. The irony of giving him the name like Marion is amazing. Uh, That's the irony of it. Because he's that, such a man. <laughs> well, you gotta have a man's, a man's name. Yeah, that was the irony of it. It's like, what's your what's your name? Wasn't that a whole thing in the movie? It's like, what's your real name? And it finally came out Marion, and they all start laughing at him. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, right. I got a name like a faggot, but I sure as fuck do kick some ass. Hey, <laughs> Cobra. <laughs> I love how we can goof on a 30-year-old movie. Uh, hey, look. <laughs> how old is great. that movie, really? Oh, man. This is early 80s, right? Uh, what the fuck it's year 96. is that? <laughs> 96. I actually thought it was. What year is that movie? Come on now. Bridget Nielsen looked good in that movie. Brigitte. 86. Oh, 86. I'm sorry. 86. Bridget Nielsen looked really good. Brigitte. Went, yes. I think it was before she did the, the dikey haircut. Thing. She did look good in that movie. Her, Fuck yeah. Her hair was a little longer, I believe. She, uh, it's so hard to look at a hot chick back then when you know she looks like shit now. Because mm -hmm. you always kind of now see yeah, what turned go. to shit. Yeah, look, though. Dude, she was fucking, she was fucking uh, pretty hot. hot. Yeah. Look at those bedroom eyes. Uh, some hat Sonia. Yeah, but then you know, she with had the a... fucking curly locks of the 80s. But she had to cut it all off and look kind of... Big hair. Yeah, uh, in intimidating. You know, uh, Cobra, <laughs> I never thanked you for saving my life. Hey, shut up there, you legless, nothing worthless cobra. fucking shrimp boater. Hey, Cobra, this is my fat wife, Susan. <laughs> Could this you drink a... some beer and shoot her in the face? <laughs> Obesity is the disease. <laughs> the diet's the cure. <laughs> you know, Cobra, I never thanked you for doing such good catchphrases. <laughs> this is my friend, stupid, and his wife, AIDS. AIDS is the disease. There is no cure. <laughs> <laughs> AIDS is the disease. There is no cure. A robe is a puppy is a cure. <laughs> Cobretti. Could you, could you shoot his easy wife and we'll bury her under a tree, Cobra? Could you do that? Easy. <laughs> uh, easy. That's so an easy variety show. Oh, fuck it, eh? Let's eat. Let's fucking eat. We got yeah, big got ants coming in today. Really? She's coming in? They're old big ants. That's that one from that show. I don't I don't watch the show to be honest with you. I don't either. But mob guess wives? we'll all learn about it. Well it started as mob wives, but now she's just uh She's her own thing. She got her own show. Spin off big ants. They will spin off a fucking reality show these days in a second. Yeah. Lickety split ants. Amazing. <laughs> Lick, lickety shit. And uh Bob Kelly coming in to say hi today. All right. Yeah, when's Bob in? Work for Bobby. So we'll go eat now. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, 
<laughs> and pushing. Right. California. I fucking love this song. Even if you don't like rap, you gotta like this song. Uh, Tupac, 16 years ago. Wow. He was only wow. 25. He would be. He'd only be 41. He's been gone a long time, man. Uh, some say he's not gone. He would be an OG. And he's had a better career than most people since uh, dying. Oh, man. Still puts out that. How much shit have they put out since he died? Probably more than before. Wow. Amazing. Did you guys see the uh, the car chase yesterday? Yeah. Greatest great. car chase ever, some are saying. That was a good one. I, I was anticlimactic as far as the uh, yeah, takedown. Uh, but, um, I didn't like the ending. But, yeah. but in general, uh, it was a good fucking car uh, yeah. chase. You know who has great car chases? Uh, Cobra. Cobra. Mm. But this car chase, uh, bank robbers, four of them in the car. And uh, they know they're in trouble. So I, they start throwing the money out the, the car. They were trying to, because they were trying to get like people to just like run into the street to get the money, and then that would fuck up the, the cops. The cops that are in hot pursuit. Yeah, the whole the whole gimmick was they were driving around the same neighborhood because they weren't just being nice guys. They're like, okay, no. what can we do? We're fucked here. Yeah, we're giving, wait. We we're got this money. Chased. We throw it out the window. These people will run in the street to get the money, and then the cops have to fucking stop because they're not going to run over uh, civilians. Yeah. They were driving around the same neighborhood, and more and more people were collecting. And I think that was their their plan yeah, yeah. Right. was to throw money out, get a bunch of people congregating in one area, right. and then you keep throwing more money out, and, right. and they uh, start going into the streets. The problem with the car the chase is that pesky helicopter. Oh, dude! How do you outrun uh -huh. the helicopter? You, can't. you don't. This other shit, you know, you, you might be able to figure out something. But then, even when you leave the car, you still got to worry about the dumb helicopter in the yep. air. Where can you go to avoid the helicopter? A mall parking lot, like underground, and then run into oh, a mall? parking garage. Yeah, I would think a parking garage would be pretty good. I don't know. That's um, a, that's a tough but one. But at some point, you got to leave. Helicopters just chilling out. How scared are those up guys? Up in the air. You just ditch the car in there and then go into the mall. Yeah. That's See, look, they're just good. fucking making it rain. Look at these these guys running into the street. The funniest thing I heard. Plan. Funniest thing I heard though was. Can you, uh, can you go back to the where news, they throw that money? I want to hear what. Yeah. The news was saying, look, it's illegal to use that money. So if you did pick some up, you need to go and return that. Oh, yeah, okay. And they're in the middle of fucking pretty much South LA. Uh, it's really not the best of neighborhoods. No. And you think those motherfuckers are gonna be like, uh, yeah, I would like to return this money. Yeah, I got like a few thousand dollars. I want to return it because it's illegal. And they can't prove that these people knew it was stolen. Uh, right. These people did nothing illegal because as far as they're concerned, someone just threw money off the you window. You know what? There is supposed to be, uh, you, you don't expect to find that much money on the street. So you're supposed to assume no, they're, shut they're, up. that there, yes, is that really that there's something? something illegal about it and return it. If they if they're caught passing those bills, yeah, uh, they will be st talked to. Yeah, but people throwing it out the window. So the guy throwing it out the window. I thought he was being generous. And no, no one's gonna check the serial numbers. No, uh, as you're paying for shit, they'll check to see if the the dollar's real. Yeah, not the dollar, but if it's like a, a higher denomination. That's yeah. a good car chase though. Went down yesterday. What in the L.A. area? Yeah, uh, down there in uh, South L.A. And then a dump truck got him in the end. Mm. They got behind a truck. Yeah, they got behind a truck, and he made he swerved out the windows, and they have thrown this. I kind of root for the the bank robber in these uh, situations because it's so fucking cool. Look at these guys. You want one to get away? <laughs> They're just grabbing cash, right? And you can see that these kids are running after the car now. They know where it is. It's on every television station in Los Angeles. And now you get kids running out of their house in downtown looking for a little Man, cash. what a... Now we're back live. They it's just exactly have been throwing, throwing the money out yeah. there. That's great. In that area of downtown, and people know where they are. And now, on top of the bank robbery... We have confirmed that there is a handgun involved in this. So we know, as the police officers say, <laughs> they are armed, they are reckless, they are dangerous, and they have led police up to a dozen cruisers on this high-speed chase at times of 110 miles per hour for almost one solid hour. Look at the people on the side looking for the this money. Great. The police tell us, Megan, that every time they throw cash out, they actually have GPS indicators inside the police car, and they push a button. Every time they push money out, they push a button, and that is location of another crime scene. Oh, it's so marking. So every place they put money out, they go back and try to get the cash. Good luck. 
trying to get <laughs> right. that cash because a lot of it's down. You see him throwing something else out back there? We know there's two people in the car, Megan. It looks to me like there could be three. I mean, we know three people. <laughs> <in the car. laughs> look at this shit. Yeah, look at people the people <laughs> <running. laughs> right? And these guys are like, come on, throw it here. Yeah, throw it here. Throw it here, motherfucker. Make it rain. I mean, this, is, this is downtown Los Angeles, a very impoverished area. And when you've got people <laughs> throwing money out, you've got some people that badly want that <laughs> money. Look, it's the helicopter. Volvo. You haven't lost and the again, helicopter at all. And we have reiterated this. They, they have, ain't losing They've gone over and they've run the license plate. So if this car's not stolen, they know who they're dealing with. Oh, really? They will try I didn't to know contact that. this guy if he has a cell phone. <laughs> They'll try and contact his cell phone. Some of them pick up. Some of them don't. Oh, this is but cool. all of them are desperate. What, and some of them, this, as we talked about TV earlier, was made for. three strike offenders. Live shit. Which means that they're going away yeah. for a very long time when they're caught. These guys are being pursued very aggressively because they pose a very big danger. Why aren't they just blocking the street? The guy yeah, the it, it, it is weird. Know, Megan, the cops didn't even have to put a spike strip down or bump him. The guy in the silver truck blocked him off. There was another car over there. That was the. Yeah, that's the end of it, really. Yeah. Yeah, the streets were a little narrow. A lot of these cars were pulled them, over. By the way, and then, yeah, he just pulled the right in there. Who's that guy? Stop them. Is, is that a guy trying and to yes, help uh, out the cops? Might be. Out, all the folks were clapping their hands, and we weren't sure whether they were clapping because the police were apprehending the bad guys or because... No, that's not why they were clapping. No, of course not. not. You dumb bitch. In downtown L.A. Look where you are. The South Central, they're applauding the police effort. Yeah, the police. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, good job. Arrest those motherfuckers that were throwing money out the window. Shut up, lady. Aren't they just... Dumb. They're just dumb. Oh, God. Yeah, we all know what they're applauding. Of course. It's obvious what they're applauding. Oh. These guys made it rain for the for the locals before they got caught. <laughs> I guess that's a do-gooder that pulled in front of Who's the, that? Uh, the bank robbers. Doesn't look like a do-gooder. That's that's a fucking big, like souped up truck. Might have been an off duty wheels. guy. Yeah. Yeah, you maybe. Know? Might have been Cobretti. Cobretti, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cobretti is his own vehicle. I'll you block. don't drive no cop car. Yeah. I'll block it for you. I will block it. I'll go back and get the money. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of. Oh, that, they came that out. That could have been a situation, man. Look at that. They had to hundreds secure, of people as, they as to, they're arresting these guys. They had to secure that vehicle really quickly because uh, a crowd of people started getting around it. And you saw some people looking in the window because they got to oh, assume money, that there's right. still a shitload of money in the vehicle. So uh, they started like zombies walking over to the vehicle. Uh. And uh, after about five minutes, a lot of cops in riot gear came out and uh, started blocking off certain streets and trying to move the crowd along. That's a that's a good car chase. One of the better ones. I would like to know something, though. Yeah. Uh, that was, what, 11-something L.A. Heard, time? Yeah. yeah. Why were all those people able to just walk out on the streets at that hour? <laughs> Shouldn't there maybe be... Work? <laughs> well, it may have been lunch no. hour. No, it wasn't. <laughs> may have been. Those uh, are people wait, wait, I think that was, don't work. They I, were the burdens on society. I think it was 10 o'clock our time, though. Wasn't it? No, it was like 1 something. I felt like people were tweeting me early right after the show yesterday. About it was early. Show. It was in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, this guy. Wow. I don't know if he wants to admit this. <laughs> Maybe he's already done the fucking time. Fuck it. Mike in Jersey. Mike. Mike? Yeah. Hey, I had a boy who, uh, when I was living in Florida. Lucky you. Yo, no, these dummies tried robbing, like, a teller, at, you know, through the drive through of a bank when uh, they were being chased, pursued by the police. And my man, like, like man. made it out to, like, the Everglade area, you know, tried doing, like, the predator. And was, like, covering himself in mud because the helicopter, you know, had that infrared on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that ain't going to work. Yeah, no, it, it kind of did work. No. Him, but his fat ass got found by a dog. <laughs> Wait, you, so you know a guy, a friend of yours? Yeah, yeah, the big he, Mexican dude. He was like almost 300 pounds. They, they tried, they were like fucked up. They hold on, hold on, I'm slowing you down. So he, he robs a bank? No, 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 not a bank. These dummies were trying to break into like the ATM in the drive through Okay, gotcha. At nighttime. So then they had so, the helicopter oh, on the guy. He made it to the Everglades in a car? Yeah, they were they were close by like the Everglades. They got out running, and the helicopter was above them. And this dummy like you know jumped on the side of the like the bank of the uh, canal and was covering himself with like all the mud. And apparently it must have started working because the helicopter was like off in the distance. He thought he got away, but the canine found his ass. It was like biting him up and shit. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> smart actually. Yeah, I know. It's tough to fucking get away from those helicopters. Yeah, that's a, at least a, that's a smart solution. Yeah, I don't even know what you would do in that situation. 
he, he almost did it. I mean, you know, he, he, they said that according to him, he was like not. They didn't find him for like twenty five minutes, you know, almost a half hour before like the dog got his ass. <laughs> not bad. Dog got his ass. That'd be a cool reality show. Dog got in his ass. Try to get away from the helicopter. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good, but they didn't get nothing either. They were all just doped up and thought they were going to get some quick money. Yeah. <laughs> that's a crime I understand, though. Like, guys breaking into an ATM, that makes sense. Yeah. I, of course, I know why you do it. It's where For the money. money is. Yes. It's where the money is. It's hey, not hey, hurting anybody. It was actually an off-duty cop that was driving by in the road, in like Lake Worth Road, and, and, and like happened to see them all around it and called it in. So I waited for the backup, and by then the helicopter showed up beforehand. The, you know, they got about like two blocks away by a shopping center before they knew they weren't going to get nowhere in the car. So they just all bailed out and just... All right, like, that's just left. bad luck. Yeah. But him being 300 and something pounds is like, you know, everyone else was out. He was. A, that's why they were focusing on him. <laughs> Big fat ass. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Getting eaten by the police. Good story, oh sir. God. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mikey in Jersey. <laughs> so, uh, what? We're gonna spank Libya pretty good. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, there's a few uh, warships headed that way. Yeah, they're they're gonna fucking spank them pretty good. I think. This is a weird situation, man. I, I was reading the paper. They're like, let's <sighs> spank them. Yeah. And then get the fuck out of there. Let's fucking make our point and get the fuck out of there. But now, but the thing is, like, all right, who did it? it Libyan government didn't have anything to do with it. There is no government there. Um, was it just a, a roving band of thugs? Or was it a, a well-organized terrorist strike on November, uh, November September. On September 11th, uh, the 11th anniversary? It happened in fucking Egypt, too. Yeah, yeah, Egypt, too. They did the same thing, and now I guess riots are spreading to Yemen, Egypt, and Tunisia. Um, what are we doing over there? Why do we help these shitty these shit countries? We're Why giving them we billions them? of dollars, too. Billions of dollars. In their rebellion, I mean, I don't think... We, this is why I'm glad we didn't help in Syria. I, right. I want no U.S. intervention in Syria. Like, I don't give a no. fuck mm. what he does to the... And I know that they're supporters of terrorism, and he's a piece of shit. Yeah. This is what happens when you just, we don't interfere, and you let them just slaughter his people. In Egypt, they pulled it off. We yep. backed them up in Libya like dummies. Right. Um, and I, I guess Gaddafi was kind of a cocksucker for Pan Am. We had to kill him, but... Yeah, Gaddafi, but I mean... Well, they did. As well, far as... kind of had it coming. As far as Mubarak goes, yeah, like, I, who gave a shit if he was in there fucking uh, uh, destroying his people? And then they have this... Arab Spring. Everybody's like, finally, democracy is going to come to Egypt, and it's going to be great because the no more dictator, like Mubarak, is out, and and then it just turns into th this fucking Islamic fundamentalist government that hates us, hates America, wants us dead, and is proving it. But I'm proving how I'll much they had us as we shovel. Uh, just billions of dollars. We deserve what we get over there. Yes. We don't belong Terrible. there. Fucking stop giving them money. Yeah. If Israel has a problem with them, Israel is perfectly capable right, of handling of themselves. anybody themselves. Yeah. We do not belong. Get our fucking troops and, and bases out. Leave. I don't want to be there. I don't care Life. if they're being if they're flourishing. <laughs> Good. Yeah. If they're being slaughtered by their own fuck. Good. It's Whatever. not my business. Not our problem. Four Americans killed. Um, in the embassy. Now, this also is a little odd. What, how do you have an American embassy in Libya, which is not known as the most stable of fucking places, even after Gaddafi's gone? I mean, there's really no working government there. No. How do you have an embassy with American personnel in there and really no American guards? They, they were being guarded by these Libyans. Yep. Uh, how, how did that happen? How do you not have some Marines there uh, guarding that embassy? I don't get it. It seems to me like uh, like they they left those poor guys at, with their asses hanging out. I guess it worked for many, many years. No, you know what it is? Was it a, new a lot of times people don't want to offend. We can't have our Marines there. And right. Stuff. Uh, why? Because it's Islamic. I am so sick of Islam. I, I think I'm everybody very is fed up fucking with it. tired. I was having quite the Twitter argument last night with people. When you look at the amount, I'm not saying all Muslims are terrorists, but I am saying 
most terrorists are Muslim. <laughs> yeah. And, and there, there seems to be a problem there that isn't being addressed. I'm so tired of these motherfuckers that we are supporting uh, uh, ripping up the American flag, which, you know, gives a shit about a piece of material, but the symbolism behind it, they hate us. Just stop giving them money. Stop giving shitty uh, countries money. Let them do what they want to do. If they want to elect the Muslim Brotherhood, let them. If the, if, if the people of Afghanistan do not want to rise up themselves and wipe out the Taliban, too bad. Whatever. Let them be. Let their right. women be declitted in the street. It's not my fucking <laughs> problem. We we give a lot of money to Egypt so they leave uh, Israel alone, right? Is that the whole? I don't thing know exactly. I know we were giving money to. I, I want to say Lebanon mm. or, or or Pakistan to help fund their children's morning shows. Oh. I guess so. The Western ideology is put in there, but I don't want Western ideology put in there. Let them live however they want to live. All embassies are protected by Marines. Are guarded by Marines. Well, apparently not that one. Uh, I you know that hear, for sure? I didn't hear anything. There wasn't an inkling in the story about any Marines uh, being at that embassy or engaging um, any of the people. They had private security. Who accepts that gig? I mean, like, as, a, as, oh. a, as an ambassador or a guy working for him? So yeah. We're hoping you're going to France or Italy. Like, no, no, Libya. Libya. <laughs> so, no, what, Mike, the Marine, I know you would know, but uh, who... I mean, where where were the Marines? Where were they? Huh? Huh? Mike, Tell me. Mike, call the show, please. Yeah. Uh, so what happens? We're going to spank Libya? What are we going to do? Uh, He's sending warships with Predator drones. Predator drones are flying over. Obama's got to do something. He's gotta he look, will. He's got to look strong. Yeah. we got an election coming up. People want something. Yeah, yeah. People, People want, want something. something done. And then, uh, boy, I was switching between Fox and MSNBC <laughs> last night, and yeah, that's uh, you fun. would swear that it was two completely different stories going on yeah. with this uh, embassy attack. Um, Fox had it uh, pretty much concentrating on the fact that um, there was this. They wanted to call it an apology, but even I am saying it wasn't an apology by Obama. It was an acknowledgement. That the United States does not stand for people's uh, the, the denigration of people's religious beliefs. Right. Uh, that was the first part of his statement, and then he talked about uh, there's no excuse for this killing, and right. people justice will be served. Uh, but prefacing it with the fact that we will not stand for the denigration of a religion. If, if the, What's supposed to have caused this is this trailer for a movie that uh, is, is not uh, very flattering to Islam. Uh, they, they go off, they, they have a history of fucking killing people that have spoken ill about uh, Islam. Uh, that seems to be what at least the diversion was. Because they're saying now it was a calculated attack, right, right. and this whole movie thing was just a diversion to mask that it was a real attack. But what Obama then addressed was uh, that that they won't stand for the denigration of of uh, a religion, but that's freedom of speech. What he should have what he should have concentrated on was freedom of speech, right? But again, when dealing with that savage mentality, yes. Again, when people you have are to gonna, try to put the fire out, yeah, and any group that will throw rocks at their own women, <laughs> you have to speak to a certain way. <laughs> If you throw rocks at your own you daughter... You've got a certain way. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here's a bigger rock. <laughs> but I, it's like, uh, the, they, the people are killing Romney, too. They're saying he should have kept his mouth shut. Right. Now, that's the part that I saw on MSNBC. You turn over there, they weren't talking about anything but Romney speaking, uh, as they said, out of, out of turn, out of place, yeah. um, uh, a little premature... He might have uh, studied yapping, but they were talking about that. That would be the huge story on all the papers today would be um, the fact that Romney spoke up. And I, no, sorry, I don't see it. Uh, what I did see was both sides of the story being covered on CNN and Fox, MSNBC. Terrible. I saw Reverend Al, and all he was doing was taking the opportunity to lambast Romney. Uh, doing exactly what he said Romney was doing, politicizing it, and all Reverend Al was doing was politicizing it the other way. Right. So uh, they're just, I got to say, they are scumbags over at MSNBC. Terrible. They're terrible. I understand Fox is, has a conservative uh, right-wing uh, Republican bias. Yes, I know. 
and CNN uh, liberal and NBC liberal, CBS liberal. Uh, but MSNBC is so fucking far to the left. It's embarrassing. They're terrible. It's fucking embarrassing. When I watch Hannity or um, uh, any of the, the afternoon news shows, I see a pretty good mix of uh, liberal ideology and conservative. A lot of the debates that you see on Megyn Kelly's show, she has, all right, here's two guys. Here's a former fucking Clinton uh, speechwriter, and here's a former Bush advisor, and they'll go at each other. I've never seen a conservative go on MSNBC and be treated uh, like like a human being. That's if you see him at all. Right. It's a horribly slanted, tilted fucking network that deserves their no ratings. I even like I'll say that about Romney piping up. He, I, I have more faith in Obama in this situation than That's, I would in Romney. I you? absolutely. Yeah. I'm not saying Romney wouldn't have good advisors, but I have more faith. Because he's proven himself that he's, he doesn't tolerate a lot of fucking bullshit. Uh, he's t much tougher than I thought he'd be over there. So let's see what he does. Why the fuck were these guys left with their asses hanging out in the first Hold place? On, oh, we no. got, why the fuck? Hey, we, got, okay. we got Mike the Marine. All right. Who's saying that Marines were there. Mike. We told him to call. Mikey. What happened? Well, all right. I just wanted to you know, basically, you know, not say that you're wrong. But, yeah, okay. Marines guard the embassies. It's actually a unit it's called MSG, Marine Security Guard. It's that on my Chinese food. Makes yeah. me bloat. It bloats me. Gives right. me headaches. That's a great place for concerts. <laughs> uh, hey. Uh, no chip. So where were the Marines at this uh, Libyan embassy? Where were? I don't know where exactly they were. Now, when Marines guard the secure, uh, guard the embassies, it's not like a battalion size. Right group of marines it's a small contingent dude I, I i i know about this that's why i'm wondering why haven't we heard anything about marines um and we absolutely would have heard if marines had to engage uh people we would have heard about that these seem to be uh four um international workers that uh our embassy staff that were that were killed i didn't hear anything about marines well let's put it this way if i was riding in a car with Jimmy, and we got into a car accident, and we both died. Would I make the front page? Yeah. It, it, believe me, if you had they're a dress on, you would. <laughs> <laughs> if, if that embassy is being uh, is under siege by RPGs and, and uh, small arms fire, and there were Marines in that building, you would absolutely fucking lootly hear that Marines were engaged in some type of uh, uh, shootout. You would hear that. I have not heard anything about Marines being involved in any way, shape, or form at this embassy. Why the fuck weren't there uh, uh, armed personnel at this embassy? <laughs> I, that I don't know. They should have been. There should have been. They, that's what I'm saying. They, Maybe they, for whatever reason they felt like, like they just didn't need that not, at that particular at embassy. That's just so it. I'm just asking. The and other side of this. But bingo. That's what I'm saying. That's a bad fucking call right there. Well, obviously Why the it turns fuck out were to these be a guys bad left call. like that? Yeah. But are are the are the other embassies like this? I don't know, but I bet they fucking buck up security McKay's now. on TV right now. Hold on a second. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, go to Israel and then tell the world, well, we told them not to attack Iran. What we need is Israel and the United States to be Talking totally about... interlocked to present a united front. Yeah, this is tell... about the uh, Israel yeah, okay. Israeli situation. Uh, Obama doesn't really want to uh, Libya situation. talk to him. Um, yeah, it, but it seems to me, look, I'm not saying blame Obama, blame Obama here. Who... I'm saying, who is the person that was supposed to have guarded these people? Why haven't, why weren't, weren't people in place to guard? That's uh, supposedly sovereign American soil on, on these embassies that was attacked with impunity. That well, I'll, I say, I'll say this: that that's a, that's probably much more of a military. Uh, that's a much more of a military decision than uh, he, probably, he probably even really. Knew. Oh, you mean like killing Osama bin Laden? <laughs> um, Much more of a military uh, I guarding think... an embassy. Guarding an embassy. There's, there's there's less emphasis. There's a president is less likely to be involved with guarding an individual embassy. We have embassies in what a hundred countries. Yeah, but there's a policy. There should be a policy in place that says every embassy, especially in these unstable places, th th our personnel need to be protected. Well, maybe there is. Someone dropped the fucking ball on yes. this. Yes. And now sending him warships, that's great. But how about you do something uh, beforehand? Right. Protect these poor motherfuckers. These guys were fucked. They, you know how fucking petrified they must have been? Yeah. A group of savages out in front. Just an awful country. But again, 
And people got mad at me when I Twitter about how there's something to be said for a dictator. These guys, you know what? Assad exactly. knows how to deal with the mentality in Syria. Oh, yeah. He knows how to deal yep. with it. Uh, Pete exactly. knows a little more about this, too. Let's oh, thank Pete. God. Hi, and Pete. And Brooklyn, stay on the line. Mike the Marine. Pete, what do you got? Let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Uh, I was reading an article in the Daily News. I know it's not the greatest source in the world, but uh, <laughs> they were saying uh, four, uh, out of the four people killed, two of them were Marines. And? Comment. I haven't heard that. Comment. I have not heard Comment. that. And Dr. Steve Comment. is saying maybe it's the fact that it was a consulate, not an embassy, <laughs> but still... In Libya, for God's sake, you'd think there'd be security. No, I didn't hear anything about mar Marines being killed. And I think we would have heard if Marines were, if military, American military personnel, not any better or worse than, than American civilians being killed. Uh, but it's, yeah, okay, that's scroll that's down. Article. Despite, uh, scroll, then I'll it. leave it right there, Sam. Despite threats, no Marines guarded U.S. consulate in Libya. That's what the headline oh, okay. is that I'm reading right Hold here. Hold on, we got another guy, Paul in Connecticut. Paul, what do you know? What do you know, yeah, Paul? I work, I work on a securities desk, and basically the information we got yesterday was, number one, the Libyans were at, there was a first, there was a first line of Libyan defense force. They had no weapons, and they ran. Libyans! <laughs> Second, the second line of defense was private security that the State Department hires, plus Marines were in a five-hour gun battle with these guys. The four people died of smoke inhalation right. from the fire that was started. So no one breached the walls, and that's why they're saying it's a, it was an organized uh, uh, terrorist attack because they had RPGs and they had automatic weapons. It was a running gun battle for a long time. Um, oh. and, and really, the reason these guys died was because of smoke. But I didn't hear that. I did not fucking hear that. A lot of people saying that. two Marines yeah, died I look, in this I assault. And I work at a commodities desk, and we have oil companies there. This information came from our guys. Okay. Because we're, that's where now it's, it's about money. It's not about anybody's life. It's just about money. So the, the, now, but they said the guy, the, the, the uh, diplomat was suffocated, and they have his body. So how do they not breach the wall if they have his body? Oh, that was Killed. They don't have his body at With all. The names. The, Americans have, the, the body was taken from the embassy to a Libyan hospital to be resuscitated. Oh, I um, thought that, you know, I'm sorry. It's my fault. I thought that was a mob scene. Like, they don't show faces. Oh, no, no he, was, he was transported by ambulance to, to be resuscitated. There was no, you know, and then if you go on to the BBC, you can talk to the, uh, to one, of the attending, one of the attending physicians is there, and he talks about there was no marks on his body, there was no other trauma, it was strictly... Suffocation, or we call it smoke inhalation. They call it suffocation. Yeah, well, they're, 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 they're calling it that for to me to make the story seem. They were trapped in a fucking room. Yeah, I'm not saying that it's it's good a good death, but smoke inhalation sounds like a less menacing death than being than shot suffocation. And... Oh, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, thank you for clearing that up. Mussolini, the guy. Oh. Yeah, and yeah. The information we're getting too is that he was in there. He really didn't have to be there. He was in there. And there's there's questions about whether he was destroying documents, what he was, why he was there, because he came he came from the outside in. He was not on on campus. He came back in when they when the protesters showed up. Sure. Now where were they in the? What kind of room were they in that the smoke was so bad? I don't, I don't have a layout of the thing, but they were in inside the building. The building went up like a match. From what you, if you look at those pictures, everything burned. So these guys came in RPGs and. You know, I don't know what the interior was like, but I, I don't know if this is a building that they took over or we built it. That's, that's the other question. Who built the building? Because this thing, if you look at the uh, pictures today, this, this thing is gutted. Okay, it's but they never fire. breached the wall. They never got inside. They no. did. They, oh, okay. Yeah, and, yeah. And it was didn't... Marines, and then the uh, embassies used... I didn't hear security. anything about Marines. I'm still not fucking buying the Marine yeah. angle, sir. A few people only, saying two were killed. Marines guard embassies. I'm not. Every well, contingent. There's Marines in that's every embassy. What they do. Uh, until I see uh, the names of the people and their fucking uh, uh, what they are, uh, I, I'm still holding. I'm holding back what I uh, am willing to believe here. <laughs> I want to know who died in this embassy. I heard four people. I did not hear anything about Marines. Right. They're all State Department employees, but the, you're not going to get the spin right now is Libyans bad, Americans good. They're not going to sit there and say, oh, the Marines killed 15 before. That, that part of the story is not going to come out for a while. I didn't hear anything about any of the protesters oh, yeah, being killed either, sir. Mm. Well, I didn't hear anything about that. No fucking way. Well, we way. look at MSNBC is concentrating on. Exactly. It's not surprising you didn't hear it, or Fox and them are concentrating on their yeah, nonsense. Yeah. All right. Well, run BBC in the background. You'll, you'll get some more information out of BBC. Well, Thank you, buddy. All right. Very much. Shot to death. All right. A CBS is reporting. 
Let me see. It, 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 this is from Adam in London. London. Uh, that Ambassador Stevens suffocated to death while two Marines and an embassy staffer were shot to death? Is that what, uh... Is that it? What? I mean, it's just Adam texting it, but, uh... I got a link to uh, do you have something there, Sam? I got a link, Young Sam? I got a link to a CBS article saying two Marines were killed. Yeah, I've read security personnel. Security personnel? Hey, uh... Wow. That's may fucked. Maybe that maybe Marines guard it, but maybe the U.S. doesn't make it a public... F I, I, maybe they don't mm. state it publicly, uh, but it's just... It, that's the security they're talking about? Who knows? Man. Why don't we uh, go to Tom? Tom, what's up? Hey, how's it going, guys? Hi, Tom. Hey, Jimmy. Yes. How can you defend Obama's uh, foreign policy when the first thing he was doing was uh, apologizing for Bush? And now, look what's going on in the world. I'm not saying he's... Hold on, I'm not saying he's handled... Of him. They've always... They did that with Bush. They did it with Reagan. They do it with every Western... It's what they do. They burn oh, effigies. That. So I how, understand that, but he was supposed to be, you know... Well, can I answer your question? Everybody, he was supposed to bring everybody together, and has he? You said, how do I defend Obama's foreign policy? Yeah. The part of it that I like is that he has been harsher on the Middle East than I expected him to be. He's been he's harsher, harsher on, on Israel. He's been harsher on the Middle East. Uh, yeah, he has been harsher on Israel, but he's been harsher yeah. on Islamic terrorism than I thought he would be. And, I, and you know what? When I'm, when I'm dealing with this country, I'm tired of every other country being lumped in. <laughs> Israel can, I'm very supportive of Israel. They can handle themselves. I don't expect our, hold on. Our foreign policy doesn't have to be dictated because Israel is having problems. They don't need us. They don't need our permission, and we don't need to tell them what to do. Right now, we're dictating uh, Israeli policy, to tell you the truth, right. because they, they absolutely want to do something to Iran. They want to do something about their nuclear capability, and we're pretty much the ones telling them, no, you got to hold off. They want to do it like yesterday. But well, I think it's so much that they want us to dictate it, or do they want somebody to have their back? Maybe. They don't want to be left in the wind. Well, well yeah, maybe, you, but they have to make that what, decision. But you would hope your allies are going to be there if you're going to pull a, a huge military move, like uh, maybe bombing uh, some of these nuclear sites. And do you think Obama's going to have Netanyahu's back? No. No, and I don't know if I want him to. As much as I, I want him to. No, I'm tired of being mixed up in that fucking mess over there. I'm tired of the U.S. being mixed up in that mess. I'm sick of it. <laughs> it's not our fucking business. All we do is put our dumb red, white, and blue fucking noses in everybody's ass. Enough. Can we just mind our fucking business? What happens the next time they fly a plane into our uh, buildings? You don't do anything? No, I, but that's our business, dummy. If it's our building, it's our business. Where do you, Where are these people coming from? They're coming from the Saudi Arabia, most of them. So, so what do you do? Cut ties with Saudi Arabia. Drill in Alaska, cut ta and work on alternative with you with that. work on alternative energy and what? cut ties with fucking Saudi Arabia. Fuck the House of Saud. Let them fall. Let let fucking Kuwait fall. It's not our problem. That's not an easy fix though. That would take years. It would, but to I'm separate just, from those guys. But I'm tired of everything We are well connected to them. I'm just tired of it. I'm sick of us being know, mixed a, up in that shit. We're in a shit. tough spot because you can't just say goodbye to Saudi Arabia anytime soon. I, yeah, I know, but it would take years. Yeah, but I, I'm just sick of it. be self-sufficient uh, from that situation. All right, guys. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, Tom, thank you. There you go. So, um, warships on the way. Something will be War done. Warships on the way. Yeah, something go just going on. Um, Lob some shit and get out of there, maybe. Where do you lob it? I don't yeah, know. That's just it. Like these, the these are these are weird mob-like things. And and uh, again, if Al Qaeda was involved in some way, shape, or form, and it was more of a calculated attack, so where do, what do you do? You lob fucking shit in on who? That's why they, they, a lot of this shit happens, and, and there's just nobody we'll to really concentrate your your uh, anger and aggression on. Well, Obama's got to handle this one properly. We'll see what end uh, he ends up uh, doing. This is a very. Uh, We'll a see. very big test for him, especially so close to an election, how he handles this. And, mm -hmm. and believe me, uh, just as uh, Romney was politicizing it, both sides are absolutely looking at this situation, 
And whether they do the best thing for the country in the situation or the best thing to help their chance at being elected, and I'm talking about both sides here, uh, that'll show who more of the true patriot is here. Because if you don't think President Obama is basing his decisions on what is going to help him in November, you're a fucking idiot. If you think he's just such an American that he will only do what is best for the country and not what might make him look a little better for re-election, you, you got to be a moron. Yeah, but I think most people know that. No, I don't think so. Op. I think most people that listen to our show know that, I guess. Well, maybe. Yeah. He I think there's a everything. lot of people that absolutely think, no, he'd put that aside. Put that aside. Oh, oh, no, like no. his Vegas fundraiser? <laughs> oh, not, that's right. He went to Vegas. There's not a president uh, alive that would that would put that shit aside. No, of course not. They would politicize it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So is Rom So is Romney guilty of this too, and and you're still electing him? Um, he's guilty of politicizing it. Of course he is. Of course he is. But no more than the other side is. So shut the fuck up. There, I'm admitting it. Wow, look at me. Good for you. What are you admitting? It's healthy, yeah, right? and Romney isn't the president. So <laughs> there you go. All right, we uh, we'll, we'll break here. We got the big Ange coming in at nine thirty. Oh boy, and the big ass coming in at eight. And the big ass <laughs> is up next. Bob Kelly, how's he doing? We'll we'll find out. I guess right? he's sick. What do you mean? I just wanted to stop the show. Oh, uh, he's fine. <laughs> Serious XM XM. This this is the Opie and Anthony show. I want to say hi to Bob Kelly. I haven't seen him in a while. What's up? Last couple times you were in here, I wasn't around. Bobby. Yeah. Bob that? is here promoting uh, uh, the Irvine Live. Improv. Oh. The Irvine Improv tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. Bob is here strictly to promote my no, game. No, no, no. Ouch. Thank you, Bob. Uh, I'm here I'm here to promote Levity Live this oh. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That means tonight. Brand through, new club. Uh, yeah, I went there for what? a brewer show. Was it good? It's a cool place. Is it? Nice. Nice. All brand new, and uh, the seats <laughs> kind of, uh, I don't know, like a th almost a theater feel. No shit. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, everyone has a good view. <laughs> really? Yes. How I'm big like, is it? I don't know. Like uh, 50 Seven, people? 7,000. Uh, between 50 and 7,000 people. Yeah, between 50 and 7,000 people. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, why aren't we going fucking fly fishing? Let's get that out on the table. Uh, October. Are you going? October. October. Dumb little I've, boat. I've, I've, um, did you yeah. see my boat? I saw your Dingy. boat. Dingy. Uh, it's called the Sea Eagle, by the way. The Sea Ew. Eagle. Uh, you got a Sea Eagle? It's the Sea Eagle. The, you got uh, a fly fishing boat, or is it for it's all a, it's type a, of fishing? You can do all types of fishing. Uh, it's it's. Uh, Let me look at the Sea Eagle. Sea Eagle pontoon. Oh, that's what it's. That's the kind that's the, the, of boat, boat it is. Yeah. Wait. That's yeah. A, get that's the exact boat. You got one of those? Right there. Right there, yeah. I don't see a seat for me. Uh, Bob Kelly. It's a oh, that's a one seater. It's a one, one seater, person. but you get your own. They're very cheap. Oh, you play bumper boats and you uh, be fun. But I like when we're on. Look at that. You can stand oh, up. He looks like he's ready to fall. You can oh, see that he's fish. ready to fall. That's because he's got a, a ten pounder on the line. Look at that, dude. No way. He's, he's using a, all his balance to make sure he doesn't he fall. He was in the really river. trying uh, not to fall. That was a bad commercial for oh, the seagull. I like this. Uh, the seagull right is there. unbelievable. Sure. You bring your kid out. Look at that fish. It's a Cadillac of of fly fishing boats. Cadillac of fly fishing. You got to blow it up. You blow it up in a, a little, honest to God, pump, two right. and a half minutes. With a pump. Oh, you blow a, it up. Oh, it's an air mattress for the water. That's the great. whole thing. And the you don't seat, blow it up with your mouth. Seat. I have the swivel seat that <laughs> that Norton broke the first day I got it. I what? didn't mean to. No, I didn't break <laughs> the thing. What, did you bar. swivel? It snapped off. There's a little. It folds up. You this can take sounds everything. Like a horrible boat. It's the best if, boat if ever. If Jim Norton is breaking it, I didn't one. mean to. He no. handed me something. I didn't know how to carry it. Sorry, I don't have a fucking sea eagle pontoon boat. I didn't know I was. I love you get angry like your parents are yelling at you. I didn't mean to. I, that boat looks horrible. It's the best. It really thing. does. Look it horrible. is the is the best way to fish. I know it's ever. A, uh, it's the ever? number one boat out there for. for First fly of all, fishing. I don't see a seat for myself. Oh, First of all, I got you socialize. Your own, lad. How are we going to socialize uh, sure. with a one seater? I got you your own. I'm going to have to yell. Hey, how you doing over there? <laughs> you don't yell. What would fly? You know better. He I says mean, it's the best birthday present I ever got. Yeah, That's it what is. I say. Too. Look at his oh, dimple. Wait, oh. how did Jimmy break the boat? It was Look in your house. Yeah, what happened? Everything comes off. 
So you can ah, move, that's you, horrible. And you got to <laughs> assemble it when you're there. <laughs> I hate your smile. Dude, doesn't it get all fucking... <laughs> no, but it is. <laughs> I'm not even like... It just sounds horrible, for real. I, I know what you're, you're trying to go when for. You, when you sing your sentences, up, I know you're but lying. But it does. <laughs> but I'm it's not lying horrible. in this case. Yeah, I swear to you, I'm this not. This is the best it sounds wait a minute. The best part. Where ever. do you store it? Doesn't it get all seawater, like uh, no. lakey smelling and dirty? No. Lakey smelling. Could we, could we slow down a little bit? Why did Jimmy break your boat? Where was it? Well, the seat Take that fucking hand off there, Sam. Move the mouse. I hate the hand. I hate it, right? <laughs> but I want to know why you broke his boat. The dad got it. I, we were putting it in the car because it all folds up in a bag. At Gnome's house. And it all folds up into like a backpack, so right. you can just take it to the river, throw it in uh -huh. your trunk. Yeah, uh -huh. boom. And that, that, that seat folds up, and there's a, there's a leather thing that goes across. It keeps it shut with a button. Okay. And, I, you know, you're not supposed... You're not, Supposed to hold, it keeps the seat shut. Not a button, shut. button like a button. You, like, it's like a button on your shirt, but uh, it buttons snap. to keep it shut. A snap. Oh, horrible. And Jimmy, I said, Jimmy, put, oh, take. He goes, can I help? I go take this to the car, oh. and he grabs it by the like a hand. He made a handle out of it. Oh, and, so, and he ripped off. It should have been rugged enough. It's, I agree. Yeah, it's for the outdoors. It it's should a be fucking rugged. boat. It's not a handle. How do you Jimmy? break a boat by carrying it? It's not a handle. A I didn't know that. Fish. It was a seat closer. I didn't know that. You know what? I, I, mean, don't, I don't like this boat at all. It's the best boat ever. Where have you used it? I've used look it. At, look at him try to row. Oh, it uh, stinks. It, he looks the, like he's going to tip over at any moment. The Sea yeah. Eagle pontoon awful. is the Cadillac of fly fishing boats. Exactly. It's have you used like it? Cadillac would. <laughs> what? I love that boat, it? Jimmy. <laughs> have I used it? It's, yeah. I've and used you should it. end up like they Friday did in good size, size in the Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> or like Fredo in The Godfather 2. <laughs> Yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say Hail Marys. I hope I pull a pizza out. <laughs> I'm right with the fucking fat oh, jokes. I'm Bobby. trying. This fucking oh, plot right I know. out of the gate. Thank right you. Now. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid all that today. It's, um, I'm going to do something different listen, today. Listen, it's the best boat out there. You used it in New Hampshire when you were Five up there? Five times by myself. How was it? It's you, yeah. The reason why boats like this suck is that you have to throw it on top of your car, tie Showing. it down. He's all showing that, that shit. you could fucking like fish on one foot and not tip it's over. It's really stable. You can't really tip it. Look at him put a motor on it. Look at this. Watch that. He's standing on one oh, edge of the boat. Sure. Nah, yeah. Where's like that kid who he gave it to for his birthday? <laughs> Get him on the boat. boat. Day. Pull his pants down. Oh. <laughs> Get the water. It. What this uh, boat is saying to me is, you're making it loud and clear. You don't want me fly fishing with you yeah. anymore. No, but I, I, I don't I see have, a seat for me. I have two. There's a double seat that goes in the front. We face each other. <laughs> really? And we go down the that river. Sounds great. <laughs> you yeah. know, remember like the river deliverance. we went down? Yeah. Remember the river? Are we going down that? river? You can go down that river in this. But it's I'll, a class A rapid. I'll hang with Rich. Yeah, you can. I'll. It'll yeah, be Rich me and Rich. You better, anyways. It'll be me and uh, Rich, and then you could be in your pun whatever the fuck it, the, your fucking robot. It's a yeah. sea eagle. <laughs> it's called <laughs> the sea eagle. It's called a queer man. carrier. <laughs> Frameless, a queer carrier. That's, <laughs> it's a Where are you going? Are you going to shit? Yeah. It's going to go <laughs> shitties. I had to read before. So um, I, I love when Ann has to shit. And it, and Why? It's got a shitties. This makes me happy. Come on. <laughs> Bob, we're not doing the thing in Roscoe this yeah, year? Yeah, but we're not going to use boats up there. You walk in the river. No, we're going with Rich again. I don't think so. You don't like Rich? I love I've Rich. I've been in touch with Rich ever like since. Rich. I love Rich. Rich is a great what guy. What do you do to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, uh, well, uh, but why did you say you're not going with Rich? I said we go up, we walk the river. We're not going to do the boat. Walk. We didn't catch anything. I know, but the water was high, remember? Yeah, but we didn't we catch learned. a thing. Water was high, which means they had to stay low. Because it was eight hours pressure. of not catching anything. So let's give another shot. I say we go to the river where there we caught things. There was a lot of rain that came in. No, that was a year ago. You even said the level of the river was way too high to fish that day. That was that we could have found a spot to go in. I go with Rich. I have confidence in Rich. Go with Rich, and you can pass me on the but way. I want to go with you too. No, we're not going with Rich. Then what are we doing? We're gonna go. We're gonna go in your little rowboat. We're gonna go. First of all, <laughs> we gotta get a place to stay because you've ruined that. I didn't ruin that. Hey, you did. How did I ruin that? Because you took, you had him, you Scorsese had to make a video of the poor <laughs> dirt garden and then tell everybody how much the place sucked. And then we had to go back up there and then you had to expose her again. No, I didn't expose her. She w was waiting for us to come. She waited a year to confront me. Yeah, because you understand she's a little. Do people understand that? We did that whole thing last year. But yeah. basically, we tried to check into our. our our spot, me and Bobby's spot. <laughs> well, you have to put bug spray on the pillow. Right. And she uh, remembered the video I made the year prior and couldn't wait for us to come back so she could give me a talking to. Well, well, you know why? Because your video, whenever you typed in the Roscoe Motel on Google, the first thing that comes up is Was the that? most popular. Yeah, the most popular thing. I got the most popular video out of Roscoe. 40,000 hits on that nice. thing. Nice. You made a mini series of like Lonesome Dove. Nice. 
And the, so when people like our uh, mini series, when that we've people done would together, people would show her that. I know. In she, her poor hotel. Remember, she had a picture of me. She was just waiting. Yeah. I was on her desktop. You were denying for a it. year. Yeah. Uh, well, we could stay in the other place with the roosters. Uh, I can't stay. That was a nightmare. No. No, it was like an old haunted and, house. And don't we have to go soon? Isn't it like prime? October fifteenth. That seems late in the season, Bobby. No, October fifteenth is the last day you can fish. I, I think. will absolutely have a second kid by then too. October fifteenth. We'll You're already having another baby. Whoa. Where have you been? You're not my friend anymore. What's I, wrong with you? I know you. Were, uh, she I was pregnant, you. but I didn't know it was coming now. Any week. Oh my god. I'm down at any. It could happen right now. All right, keep it on the QT, would you? Whoa. We're over eight months pregnant. It's Whoa. happening. It's going down. Mm. That was the countdown on my website, by the way. I tricked what? everybody. <laughs> yeah. You have a website? <laughs> Kinda. What the hell is your website? It's just OP Radio. It just links it's everything. Dot com? Oh, uh, yeah. That's all yeah. it is. It's nothing special. That's the You had a countdown? Yeah, people thought it was for our contract, but that I, <laughs> that was for my uh, wife's pregnancy. <laughs> what, kind, who the, what kind of page is that? Who did that? I got a guy. I like it's it. It's basic shit. It's got my Twitter feed over there. It's got my Instagram over there. Get off me, It's got Edgar. my YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter links over there. Nice. And then it's got uh, my latest videos kind of kind of right there, front and center. Let me see. What is that? A Say and, Now page? And then a couple. It's sort of in this. It's sort of like a Say Now, but it's not Say Now. And there's oh, there's me with a young Sam Kinison with my Bill Cosby sweatshirt. <laughs> Sweater. All right, look. I was young. You don't have a Sam Kinison picture. So you, had that sun, you had that sunflower hairdo? What do you mean? Just that, that sunflower burst in the front. What do you right, mean? Right in the front there. Where, like The bangs went down yeah, okay. to the left, to I the get, right, and to the that's back. That's how people wore their hair back then. What am no, I, what not am everybody. <laughs> what am I, what am I, I see it, Sam. You're not holding Not glasses. everybody. What do you mean, not everybody? I could show you a million fucking guys with that same haircut. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> They'd probably be in a parade, too. <laughs> a bunch of pita pumpers, right, Bobo? Uh, yeah, Fucking can... home run, Kelly. Are oh, you all right with the sweater? <laughs> you're all right with the sweater in that shot? Um, Yeah, what is that? What is that, a little Tello sweater? Some it's Z-cat? a horrible um, sweater from the Times. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, I like the sweater. It's not bad. I wish I could Photoshop the sweater out. So Why? Because then perfect. my Sam Kinison picture would be a little cooler. Just a little cooler. I think the sweater's great. I think it's fantastic. What it's is a he wearing? It's a horrible sweater. He's wearing fucking... What's he wearing? I can't even tell Did you. Did he die in 91 or 92? Somewhere around there. I think 91, right? Somewhere around there. It's been uh, 20 years already. Were you friends with him? No. No. I was just starting out in radio, mm. and I got to meet him. Look at that seagull. Met him a couple times. He was a, he was a really nice guy when he yeah. was yelling and screaming. Extremely was he different nice. off? Was he different, like, yeah, off radio? He was a fucking human being, man. He Just a regular about, dude? Yeah, he cared about people. Absolutely. Really? I think so, yeah. Anyway, back to uh, the fly fishing boat. I met him once. Did you meet him once? Talked to him at Rascals. He came in and talked to a couple of the comedians, me and my buddy. Talked to him for about five minutes, ten minutes, and uh, he signed a napkin for me. I didn't get pictures back then, but I got a grass. Rascals. Uh, in the south in Ocean the, Township. The famous oh. Rascals. Yeah. Wow. So, what's, so, Bob, you got Levity uh, this weekend starting tonight through Sunday, levitylive.com. It's West Nyack, New York, in the Palisades Mall. Yeah. So it's a great spot for comedy. Yeah, I'm and, excited. and they got the mall, so you can do some shit, too. Yeah, I'm excited Thank to be there. You I like should it. be. I like it up there. I like the peeps. How's your voice? It's bad. What the hell's going on? I don't know, dude. I lost my voice two months ago in Vegas when we went to Vegas. For the MMA? For the MMA. Were you yelling at the did, event? No, we didn't yell. We didn't do anything. Maybe it popped something. Nothing. I don't know what I did. Have ever. you been checked? Uh, I've been checked. No no polyps, no nothing. And I just I haven't there's been able no, to get There's back. no lumps in your throat? No lumps. Oh, you don't have throat cancer, at least. That's good. Thanks. Um, maybe it's a reflux. So what are they saying it is? Probably reflux. Oh, you, get re you get acid reflux? Yeah, but I've been taking my pills, oh. so I haven't but, had it. But when that acid comes up, it does some damage, man. Yeah, it might be something like that. I don't know. I can't get my voice. I keep losing it, but I've been gigging constantly. So I, I have shows every week, so it's, it's fucking, I keep. Mm. I could learn how to do my act differently or something and not scream or I don't know what the fuck exactly. I'm doing. Sounds a little weird right now. Yeah, it's like a little tranny, right? Uh, it's uh, a little deep. 
A little deeper. Yeah, yeah. man. You could be like a boss jock. Bob, your voice is your instrument. Will you stop touching me? I'm the just love trying to make a point, Bob. Yeah, yeah but I don't like that every touching character creepy. touches me. That was He's just jam. trying to make a point. It was a character. Remember, get see, off me with the fingernails. See, that's the character. That was Jimmy uh, showing concern. When you <laughs> when you want to show a little extra concern, you fucking touch the guy's arm. You little, you pinch him with his fingernails? No, that was the character. That's what he was trying to tell you. You should get that. two different you button things. that shirt, please. Is it like, yeah, my I, don't, out. I don't like seeing your belly. I don't like seeing a grown man's belly. It's uncomfortable. Let's <laughs> bring up feelings. Yeah, is it weird to see without hands on your head? Yeah. <laughs> I like seeing that. Wait, there's something else I was going to ask you. The voice, the thing. There was something. Oh, fuck. What was it? Oh, the TV show. What's up? It's in, um, it's in FX's hands. So you're still waiting for them to yeah. decide? It takes a long time. They gotta do notes. They gotta do edits. They gotta do, you know, producer edits. For the people, you you filmed right. the pilot for FX. That's yeah, there's huge. so many people do edits and notes, and then FX has to do their thing, and then I think they have to test focus groups. On yeah, they do all shit. kinds of weird shit. What and do you then think? See what are you they... hearing so far? Anything? Um, so far, um, you know, FX had some good notes, and they're you know they're smart people. So, you know, they know what they want, which is good. And um, they like the last one. So I don't know, dude. So I'm kind of staying away from it. You obviously don't know. Because I don't, I'd yeah. rather fall off yeah. the second floor of hope than the 10th floor. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hear you. Because uh, I've, you know, you've been there so many times. This is the best thing. This is so good. People tell you how wonderful it is. And, you, you know, you yeah. start buying fucking real estate and right. better clothes. And then all of a sudden it's just gone. How's you know? the shit? feel like a prison rape. It came sliding out. That was great, huh? <laughs> no, it was, it was like you burning. Can. I think I went to Chipotle. I went to Chipotle. Oh, uh, my what's God. That? Chipotle rules. That? Last night. But that shit is That's spicy. Chipotle. You shit facing the wall. Dude, it was so spicy. Oh, what a spicy shit. <laughs> I have to get their mild uh, salsa, which is still spicy. It was That's fucking the problem crazy. with the Chipotle. What's you that? go Chipotle. What's I that? love Chipotle. It feels what's like that? I got a suppository put in, <laughs> coated in Vicks Vapo rub. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Ow. That's good food, though, man. That's love really Chipotle. What's that? It's really fresh. I love Chipotle. What's that? Chipotle. Big Chipotle. That? Three soft tacos. That's why I go. Really? I go with the uh, the burrito bowl. That burrito's nice. I, I like you the burrito bowl? bowl. I had the burrito. You, you go brown rice hungry. or white rice? Uh, white rice. Uh, black beans or the pinto beans? Black, black beans. beans. What kind of chicken? Or do you go beef? That's shredded. Shredded uh, beef. Yeah. No, shredded beef. chicken. I do three soft tacos. I do uh, shredded beef, yeah. two shredded beef, and one pork. I don't oh. know how the, the burrito put itself back together and came out my ass uh, full size. <laughs> we ate at one in L.A., and that's when RuPaul was sitting at the table behind us. Oh, really? as, as what? Just as, as a guy. As, as him? Yeah. yeah. As RuPaul, huh? He goes through life as a guy. So deep-throating the burrito. <laughs> <laughs> he goes through life as a guy that hasn't shaved. That's his look. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen. That's what you see. <laughs> yeah, it, freak, it freaks me out how he can really re just turn into like a hot black chick. Yep. With hips. <laughs> you think that's hot? Really? Yeah. It looks. It's it's so obvious. It's I'm 41, oh. and I've been married for five years. So <laughs> my hot my hot meter is getting it kind of my hot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, look at the that. bar's a little oh, lower. God, that's way oh, lower. Man. That's just a dude. That's yeah, a that's a dude. Let me but go to room. the girl version. All right, go to the girl version, RuPaul. Yeah. Let's try to have an open mind here, yeah, please. Today. All right, now go to the. Not, I have an open ass appearance. appearance. <laughs> that's right. no. Well, look, look at how hot she. She's wonderful. What? Oh god, no. that's so fucking retouched. And and I don't no. know how they get they they, they do Ugh. the boobs in such a way that she has cleavage. Yeah, they tape and makeup. Okay, this one I wouldn't do right down there. That, no, really? what? no. That'd be no. funny. She she should do a movie dating herself. Uh, that that sounds like a uh, that sounds like an Adam. Sandler. Sounds wacky. That's an Adam Sandler movie. What are you doing? Tyler Perry. Adam put Sandler. that together. That's funny. Tyler Perry's I'm dating myself. <laughs> He kind of does it, though. See, look, he's dressed yeah, as yeah. Michelle Obama and Obama. In oh, this, is that in what that it picture. is? Mm -hmm. You can't tell that's what that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that true? I heard the best racist joke ever. Oh, this, when did I tell the, it? <laughs> the, uh, the MC that was hosting this weekend, this past weekend, he goes, uh, I saw twin black guys, or I'm just really racist. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, wow. What oh, the God. fuck is that? RuPaul looks like he has AIDS. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Doesn't? Do look. No. Dude. That's not AIDS. A skinnier older gentleman with a nice hat. Is that it? 
That's uh, uh yeah. we ever have uh, did we ever have him on? A- AIDS that? don't, don't know, get thin anymore, dude. Nah, yeah, that's, like, that's like that's like eighties AIDS. Eighties AIDS. We're in two thousand two thousand Yeah, two thousand AIDS, you just get a pot belly and fat fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking uh What's his name? McMillan and wife there. Rock Hudson AIDS. That was bad. That, yeah, that, that's 80s AIDS. Oh, man, that is such 80s AIDS. Because nobody, no one had seen Rock Hudson in a while, so everybody was like, oh, yeah, from McMillan and wife, that guy. Yeah. From, from fucking the movies. And then he came out for something, and they were like, what the fuck? Yeah. That was when everyone went, oh, AIDS. Oh. Well, a lot of people, they'd come, they'd come and tell you like that, that it was a virus, and nobody knew what it was. The doctor can't do anything they, about they it. They can't Forrest. do anything about it. So I guess I should just have to have sex with you now so I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you dummy. Yeah. I buried her under the tree. I used a straw as a coffin. <laughs> Forrest, why isn't she wearing shoes in the grass, Forrest? She's going to kill the lawn <laughs> with her easy feet. <laughs> Forrest, her toenails are digging into the grass. I don't want her to get AIDS on it, Forrest. Love Gary Sinise. It's fucking great. It's uh, right on. They're uh, titanium. Uh, I'm not worried about my feet because they were blown off in Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. But I'm worried about my fat Asian wife Susan's feet. Susan. Or she killed all the corn. <laughs> you buried her in the ground and it ruined yeah. the soil. You gave AIDS to the fucking grass. <laughs> now you have AIDS corn. <laughs> it, uh, it, it pops on the fucking stalk. Yes. You don't eat it, you shove it in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's it is 80s AIDS right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's when that's Rock Hudson just, came out. I was like, "What's wrong that's with Rock?" Just fucked up. Rock oh, Hudson, man. if he wasn't famous and didn't have the money, was just a redneck. <sighs> yeah, really? he was just yeah. a hillbilly. Oh, you think? Oh, hey, look man. at that! Look at he the one on the right. Real AIDSy. Yeah, he got AIDSy. He's all jaundicey. <laughs> all AIDSy. <laughs> yeah, AIDSy. Oh, what is going on with you, Bobby? What's up? Um, Give the big update. Bad dude, Boys, maybe just, a sitcom. Not a sitcom, maybe pilot. a TV show. Yeah, TV show. Uh, uh, fly maybe. Fishing Boat for One Person. Nice. Love the idea of yeah. that Fly Fishing Boat. Oh, it's the best. Sounds Can I bring it over to your pool? <laughs> yeah, take it to the pool. <laughs> yeah, have, a, be, have a demonstration. That would be really funny. <laughs> have a demonstration in Ant's pool. That'd be kind just, of dude. Uh, here you are in the pool. Look, I'll show you everything it does. Yeah, you can, I caught. You, should, you could show all the bells and whistles, and then we could be on the water bells and, and whistles and put little plastic yeah. fish on your hook. And you give it a little tug. No, you, can, you can actually. Sh- you could. Sh- we could play war. And I'm the Germans, and you. Have, oh, sorry, Ooh, wait a second. I, be the I don't want to offend you. Yes, you can yeah. be the Germans. <laughs> and I'm I'm still on the beaches of Normandy. Yes. And I pull up on my boat. <laughs> you have to shoot. To... <laughs> no, I backed out on it. You did. You did. I saw that. We're trying today, Bobby. I was trying to be nice. We're gonna do something a little different. We're uh, trying. I'm trying. Hey, uh, <laughs> what, I like when you like talk about the bells and whistles. So, what other bells and whistles on this? Um, it's got rowboat. It's first of all, it's got a swivel seat. Ugh. So uh, I'm gonna explain. Ugh. Okay, when you're on one of the regular boats, I've, I've you, done the swivel seat. I got to be with Bobby. If you on this. Want, if there's a nice. fish over there, you, could just you slide have to your turn the whole bit. boat the whole over boat. there, right? You but now you just do the swivel seat. You yeah. Just kind of move your you hips just, and you swivel. And it, it turns your direction. <laughs> turns it. Turn. And else? you can put it. It's what? got a motor mount in the back. That yeah. motor is shitty. That's you an, swivel that's your an seat. electric motor, you jackass. It's a little, electric motor. Uh, look how old it is. Well, yeah, but you can't use a regular whoa. motor. Put a fucking giant Mercury <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 800 on the motor. <laughs> but how fast do you go? Like and if you swivel your seat, your feet go in the fucking water. <laughs> no, your feet don't go in the water. <laughs> they do, no. dummy. There's no room. Yeah, look you, at you. Swivel around. You're fucking. You're going to drag your toes over the motor and lose fucking. Like, you swivel. When you sit down in a seat, your knees aren't supposed to hit your chin. Okay, now look, at, now look at the. Look at that. It's horrendous oh, looking. God. It's not. It's yeah, not but here's the thing: is if you're right, if you're a little longer, like yourself, mm-hmm. if you have a longer gait than me, Ooh, thank you, Bobby. You can get a seat riser a that seat brings riser. the seat up a little higher. Oh, great! Yeah, and get that center of gravity just precariously perched. Yeah, exactly. As wow, you're say that five times. People, center of gravity <laughs> precariously <laughs> perched. But it makes a good point. The reason the seat's so low is because if you're too high, that yeah. look at that guy cruising. Over. What's he doing? He's cranking with cruising. the ro- with the oars. No, I think he's he's exhausted from having to paddle. It's good. Now this is the best part. Look at that. Look at that. in a bag right in your yeah, truck. Never forty pounds. That does Oh God! Absolutely does. You'll never put it back in that bag like that. I do every time. I've done it five times. Dude, right 42 back the... pounds. He's lugging 50 pounds through the woods. You're not carrying 42 pounds because then you have your other shit. What about the motor? No, I'm just saying exactly. this is 42 pounds plus the boat. Plus your fishing gear, plus your backpack. What other shit? 
Wait, wait, wait. Like how dirty that is when you put it back in the bag? Oh, uh, yeah, it stinks. No, that's yeah, a... fucking lake water. Look at that. And, and fish guts. And it's got a smell nuclear of fish. What? Hey, can we play? I like the, the idea that on, the oars are fastened. Let's go backwards, because we got to hear the audio of this. Oh, yeah. I want, oh, the audio. I want to hear All the way back. All All way back. Let's hear the big pitch. This is what Bobby bought. One of my favorite songs. To fill some emptiness in his soul. Oh. Put it to your launching spot. Simply unroll it and inflate it. Ooh, blow up dolphin. It comes loaded with a full <laughs> fabric floor, an inflatable seat, four fabric convenient floor. carry handles, and, and two built-in rod holders. <laughs> two rod Setup holders. is easy, too, Do because not wear it has no frame. Look at that. There's no frame. nothing Frameless. to assemble. He's talking about you. In just four minutes, <laughs> you're ready to go after the big ones. Yeah, she's talking about you'll be boneless. Ones. Several <laughs> option packages let you add a wooden floorboard, a wow. swivel I got seat, that. motor mount, got that. and motor. Our yeah. ultimate wow, package, nice shown hat. here, features nice. the Torquedo electric outboard That's motor. one bad hat, the Harry. The world's best <laughs> electric outboard. Handy optional Even stove pouches can slip those. on easily to hold your oh, gear. I got that. Slide it easily into the water. I'll never get in a seagull again. <laughs> easy cart to wheel it like a hand cart right to the water's edge. It really is that no. easy. <laughs> on the water, I the frameless a pontoon no boat is extremely boat stable. Been... <laughs> so stable, you can stand a cast. That's because the twin pontoons create a Focus very in the water. wide so beam. So a seagull in the water casting bumped into it, it toppled over. <laughs> the pontoons <laughs> give you more damages. Upended. The boat goes in the water, Bob gets in the boat, Seagull goes to the bottom of the lake. Farewell, right. 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 inflatable Seagull in the water. <laughs> that makes the frameless <laughs> pontoon boat highly uh, maneuverable. I hate this boat. Using this boat's the best oh, boat ever. It's a raft. It's not a raft. It's a boat. The shallow draft. Really. Also <laughs> it's a sea eagle. Just a, a squirrel that slammed two acorns into our side. <laughs> <laughs> we sank in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happens That's if the thing pops? <laughs> it's, a, it's class A rappers, you oh, eggplant. Wow. What if the hook? What like about a, a hook? You a fish hook. hook. It's class A. What so what happens if it does pop? Class A. What happens? And you can't hook a hook into it. <laughs> Do you got like a tire kit? A fish, a, a fly fishing hook is not. I'm not fishing. Oh, wait, he's going to take a hammer raft. to it. Look. Oh. Wait, colors. but the other side. Oh, the claw You certainly wouldn't done. try is this with any ordinary boat. Take 51, a bunch of popped ones <laughs> on the side. So, if you love the fish. Can you pause this? <laughs> they, he just oh, said yeah. you certainly wouldn't try this with any ordinary boat. Yeah. Put a hammer to an ordinary boat. No. I, I, yes, of course you oh, would. Shit, I, shit. And, and the claw wasn't a straight claw. It right. was a curved claw on the hammer, so it's not hitting anything sharp. And then they yeah, had a sound effect. To, to make it sound better. You're not supposed to do it at you know, all. With a hammer? You're not supposed to hit yeah. a boat with a hammer. Oh, he makes a good point. It's like, look, you're not even supposed to ever do that. Yeah, I but, saw it in the commercial. But when you're down these rivers, there's a lot of, like, sticks and Rocks stuff. and sticks. sticks? And, yeah, near yeah. the fucking banks. Jagged things. What? Jagged <laughs> things. You're going to pop this about? shit. You don't pop it. You're not going to pop it. It's going to pop. You don't pop. It's not going to pop. It's How hard pop. would you laugh if he fucking his boat? <laughs> oh, my God. If I was on it. If you were all oh. wet, just dead. Well, the best part is you don't have to wear your, on the other boats, your feet go in the water. Right. I don't like that. That so, sucks. So is your boat muddy somewhere right now because you haven't no, used it? No, of course it is. No, it isn't. It isn't, Jim. What First you bring, of all, what are you bring? You've, wet naps? <laughs> you've never done anything outside sure ever. Have. What have you done outside? I've been fishing. It stinks. Where did you, you, you go fishing? Where did you Where did you go fishing? Fucking Vermont. Stop swearing. It's Where? Boring. When I was a kid, a bunch of innocent fish mind the business. I'm not talking about I'm a teasing co with a bobber. Yeah, Don't fishing. know what that large mouth bass will do. It boring. might eat it, I suppose. <laughs> 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 See, because it's small. I love, I love that fishing. That's your shitty boat. <laughs> I just hate your sea eagle. <laughs> Can't stay down with five sea bass. Sea fucking uh, I, know. Know. <laughs> I fucking yeah, trip. So I said so sea bass. <laughs> well, I'm really enjoying the ranching no. going on about the sea go, eagle. Go with your little sea eagle. Go with trout. Yeah. Five uh, trout. This trout. boat yeah, is yeah, amazing. It, if you have a good day of fishing, it, the the thing will this sink. This is for lakes, too, by the way. Trout, when you're fishing, you're fly not, fishing on a lake or yeah, a pond. No, you're not going in a lake with this. Fucking I've robot. been in it seven times. You I've already five used it. Five minutes ago. Five times I've been using it. <laughs> that means two times. No, I've used it five times. And you got times. the swivel seat? Swivel seat. That's pretty good. And did you fix what Jimmy broke? <laughs> Can't stand Anthony. I love you so much, dude. Because you'll go into trashing, and then you go, you get the swivel seat? <laughs> it's all right. Well, because <laughs> I, I understand. Like, you should have to turn 
the whole boat with Well, we all understand the swivel seat. And you're yeah. out there alone? We don't have a problem with the swivel alone. seat. Alone? <laughs> on the fucking ocean, on the fucking no, lake, shit. on the lake by your side, on a lake? Yeah, it's better than being in the meatpacking district alone at no, three in the morning. No, it's not. Yes, you're right, but if you have a friend, the meatpacking district is much better. <laughs> Who wants to sit on a pond by yourself? That's <laughs> eh, just me. It <laughs> 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 fucking blows. It's the same thing as you fishing for, for hookers. Oh. I'm fishing for trout. That's true. Yeah, but we used to. I don't have enough. This is cheaper. Yeah, but sometimes I don't have to pack her up into a bag and carry her home. You will someday. Sometimes Jimmy has a hard time pulling his cock out of her mouth. <laughs> oh, he's like pulling it out like a hook. You got to use a pair of needle nose pliers. <laughs> oh, this one's too young. Throw it back. She's a sea eagle, but it's just the letter C. <laughs> Bobby, I'm just upset that it, you know we don't get to do this together anymore. Aww. You've made it loud and clear. You want to be out there by Aww. yourself. Ah oh, man, I really Opie. You, well, it was you, our thing. This is what you do. It was this our is what thing. you do. That fuck it. Let me look at me. Thing. Anthony and Jimmy. Yeah. This is what he does. It fucking drives yeah. me fucking batty. All right, then let's fight. My, my wife does the same thing you do. Oh, is you'll really? take a, a you'll take a little thing and <laughs> you'll fucking just and I'll tell you it's yeah. not it and you'll keep going yeah. with it and you, you know, but it. you do, do it, you do it with a fucking yeah, smile on your I? face. You cocksucker. Do I? Do I? You fuck? Is that what I'm doing? These cocksuckers. At least they're trapped. Trashing me out in the open. You're I'm fucking trashing. Getting, you're getting under my I'm, skin. I'm, 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 I'm just a little more I, covert. I, yeah, I, go, hey. he's a Navy SEAL <laughs> <Hey>. trasher. <laughs> Like, he's slow. He's Bobby, like he's like fucking what I'm 007. Saying, you're dead on the floor because you drank his fucking poison. What I'm saying, like a chick, yeah. my 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 feelings have been hurt. Uh oh. <laughs> you want to go fishing without me? Aww. You know what? Oh, <laughs> you know we have a good First time. Of all, if that's true, that's the most amazing thing that's ever been said on this show. First of all, my true. feelings are a bit hurt. Oh, man, you're making it obvious you want to be out there by yourself. I'm not. Now. No, we only go if, once dude, a year, dude. If you had one of those, we're not. You two like, could you tie him together? And shit, yeah, imagine why that. Yeah. that's gay. That'd, That'd be fucking, great. And, and then shoot each other like our Doc and Dylan. <laughs> 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 We're not docking our boats on I the lake together. Them together. Ooh, ooh. I think what's happening here, me and Bobby have gone fly fishing twice. I'm bad luck, right? You you do way better when I'm not around. No, you are. You're not bad luck at all. It's I'm the bad last time we luck. went, we did that boat stuff. Jimmy goes fly fishing at the rest stops. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy puts his dick oh, out of the big one. <laughs> Jimmy puts his dick out of the door of the stall yes. and wiggles it. Wiggles it like fucking. <laughs> like what are you bait. using? What are you using over there? Yeah. Yeah, you Get put, your, you put oh. your pecker in the water. Oh, what? God no. damn fucking shit. We might have to go to break. I don't know. The, uh... <laughs> <laughs> There's a gay guy driving by the woods at a rest stop. He's like, what's that? He... <laughs> what is it? What's that, Jimmy? What are you using over there? What do you got over yeah. there? What, what are they biting on today? <laughs> <laughs> what are they biting he's, he's on? He's matching the hatch. He's oh, oh, big daddy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know what? How, how, I don't need you, you fuck. You, how could you bash me? I, I I'm going to call, nice, I'm I'm call Rich. I'm calling up Rich, and I'm going to bring my brother. You're not going to have fun with Rich. Oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> You put a shoe on Bobby's sandwich. <laughs> he, he just, hey, you broke one of our lights. Ah, oh, shit. Holy <laughs> shit, that was hilarious. <laughs> Jimmy took off his shoe. I, I didn't want to smash I it. I didn't want to get it all over him. I, I couldn't help it. It was just sitting there begging so, me to punch it. So Jimmy put his dirty just, fucking shoe right just, up on his breakfast that, burrito. I just, shoe just shoe laid off. it on top and of his burrito. Is that the burrito? shoe you've had for like fucking nine years? Yeah, this, these shoes have seen better days. <laughs> Bobby had to just throw it out. What are you going to do? You can't eat it. Bobby, you could have ate that. Oh, Bobby. No. I placed it perfectly. No, you, in the city, you know what the fuck you're stepping on? Ugh. You brush that off and you eat that shit. Oh, my God, no. I, didn't, I couldn't funny. punch it, though. I didn't want to get uh, all over it. Yeah, that would have sucked. I got a big audition right, today. Well. I, I can't really uh, knock them. You know, that's probably, if you're into fishing, that's probably pretty it's, cool. It looks a little it's flimsy. The, it does look, next, I'd have gone with I the next it, step up. Yeah. There's no next step up. There well, is. There's yeah. not. There's got to be. There's no Titanic. next step up. <laughs> One that's a little wider, maybe. There's no step up. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. <laughs> the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> <laughs> He, he was a lonely zilch in the middle of the lake, and we were all hoping he'd die really quickly. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, Jim, you're a fucking... Uh, uh, Jim's just a... Edmund Fitzgerald. 
I thought oh, I thought we were going to do that today, Bobby. Oh, it's Jim. He can't. Right. He's a he mean. Can't help himself. <laughs> Jim uh, is an asshole at heart. <laughs> well, we all know but that. He, he, uh, he, and when he gets Bobby, on a roll, you can't. I'm going to make it to ten without one. <laughs> not yet. Not. I'm gonna. Right? Uh, I'm gonna. Jim is just a mean. You're just a mean guy, Jim. <laughs> you're a mean person. You've ruined my sandwich. You've ruined my boat. Oh, oh, and you've sorry. hurt my feelings. Anybody you're not a friend. Bobby That's what I said sandwich. to somebody yesterday. Yeah. If you not go on O and A, if they don't know you, they'll help you. If you're oh, if you're friends with them, it's the worst thing you it do really for your is career. Terrible. Oh, yes. It's the worst thing you can do for your career. <laughs> it's, I'm, oh, I'm ordering you one. Hope right he's now. the only genuine guy. And Anthony. I think oh, that's two out of three. three. That's what I meant. I, oh. I, 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 that's stupid. <laughs> Stop doing math. Yeah, but, <laughs> that yeah. means it's only me. Yeah, exactly. But you almost made me feel special. I was you happy are there special. <laughs> I was happy there for a second. <laughs> I, I wanted to you do fuck. some mean math. I, li I, yeah, like, yeah. I like I like I like Obi's vulnerable plus 300 side. equals him. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me! Get off me! I'm sick of you, Jim. Oh, I'm sick of Jim. Sorry. That's all he does. Every time I come on, he's just fat, fat, fat. And then I get to listen to his uh, stupid <laughs> fucking fans on Twitter. Fat, fat, fat. Oh, I, I block. Yeah. It's a fu It's I'm a sorry. nightmare. Just it block. Is. I block should. Away. I, I rather. I should rather not come on the show. More people would show up this weekend yeah. at Levity Live tonight, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, More people would show. That's up. That's a very strange. Plot. You did imply that I should burrow in dirt, though. When I said I wasn't sleeping. Oh, burrow in dirt. I would never say that. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I, would never I don't say sleep that. well, and Bob goes, have you tried to fucking burrow in dirt? And then he goes, why don't you land a potted never, plant? I never said that. I never. I would never say you that about you. That. That's really funny. Yeah, I would I, I, To a girl. Really funny. To a girl we were talking to. <laughs> what girl? Uh, Kristen. Oh, she's not a girl. Why don't we uh, break? Bob uh, Kelly, Levity Live, West Nyack, yeah, New York, from the Palisades Mall tonight through Sunday. Hi highly recommend <laughs> to see Bob Kelly. <laughs> you should just do the do the, your fucking uh, stand-up sitting down in your boat dude, on your swivel seat. Dude, can you With a fishing pole? If we did Billy the, like, hey, Billy the Bass Man. Hey, how you doing, people? Can you have Sea Eagle Night? And you're just casting. Sea oh. Eagle Night. Hey, people. So let me tell you a little story. Uh, and you tell these long-winded stories. Yeah. Oh, There's God. a lot of people in New Hampshire that story tell. Uh, yeah. Oh. Do you know what Ew. They, no, what I'm serious. That? They Will go, we talk about this next? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Storytelling. No, right, let's, let's not get tease, Let's not get distracted. Because I know we're going to go off on that for a while. I want to hear this. And we got big ends coming in at 9.30. Yeah. We we'll we'll got it. this coming in at nine thirty. This, I kind of oh, like God. it. You yeah, kind of like this. Yeah, that's kind of my thing. Uh, not my this? type. <laughs> yeah, not quite my type. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't have you know get married and go to fucking Aruba together. But I'd, this, I'd fucking. That's I'd, your type. It's like I'd, Steven Tyler with huge tits. I'd take a cab. <laughs> this, I'd take a cab. All right. Mm. More of Bob Kelly. Stay there. Serious XM, the Opie and Anthony Show. Uh. Welcome. Bob Kelly in studio. Shut up, Bobby. I got this part. Levity Live, West Nyack, New York, in the Palisades Welcome Mall tonight back. through Sunday. LevityLive.com for Bob Kelly. Welcome back. And I got Dan Soda with me, too. I like Dan Soda. From Soder. my show. And he Kelly Festuca, the other girl on my show, is going to be there. Fucking Dan Soder. Yeah. Soder. Yeah. As we say on Long Island for Soda. Soder. Soder. Yeah. Uh, did our show. Yeah, he's a, fun, he's a funny guy. And man. he passed the audition. He, he will be back. Oh, he's yeah. really good. He's a he's a very like funny him. kid. Very funny guy. Um, Jimmy left to get his picture with Tony Danza. <sighs> Tony Danza. Uh, I'm gonna be running for mayor of New York City. Look at my hog in my Spider-Man <laughs> outfit. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was one of our favorite the best. Moments. Oh God, he when he had his goddamn talk show. And the, fantastic. He came back with his apron on. Yeah. Covering his fucking covering big, his, my big hog, my big Tony Danza dig. This <laughs> <laughs> is a fat helmet. Yeah, yeah. His big dick was just fucking hanging. Down. Just sweating. Was was terrible. Fucking wild mushroom. Like his... Halloween extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does like run for mayor just so we get some clips. I think he of is. Him. He's yeah. running for mayor. Yeah, yeah he wants know. to run for mayor in New York City. Come in. I don't think he'll come in though. He probably won't, but we got Bob Kelly, Tony Danza. And we got the big end. Oh, fucking throw me out like that sandwich. No, right. stay here. Tony Danza comes in. What are you nuts? <laughs> we got the big end coming in. Big she can wait. I, I don't know who she is actually. 
She, I wouldn't I, fucking. I don't know why we said yes to the big Ange. I don't know shit about it. I don't either. She's on a show. We were from... talking about her, and we were watching a video of her. And next thing and I think, booked on the I show. Think, uh, I'm confused. Well, now I remember Roland came in, and, and I think everybody was saying, "Can yeah. you get this woman for our show?" Oh, okay. You might have to start recording our conversations because I think he gets frustrated too. All of our guest uh, pitches to Roland are like uh, drunk blackouts. <laughs> but like, I don't remember doing that. Oh yeah, you did it. And sometimes oh, yeah. it's easier to just say yes because you want to get out of the building fast. Well, that's true. <laughs> hey, uh, Bobby, I know what it was. Bobby. Um, New Hampshire. <gasps> story time. Story guy. time. What is this storytelling? You said everyone has a story or likes telling stories in New Hampshire. Well, they, well, they have storytellers. There's these guys. Like I was that? talking. I met like three of them when I was up there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> boring. What, at, a, at a coffee shop? Oh, weird. I met one guy. We were trying to get a piece of wood at this, this guy. Has wood. Yeah, there we were. Must e tell you, yes. we were out on the water. It had to be uh, uh, near. No, that's Maine. Probably eight, uh, eight hours. I'm calling oh. you out on that one. Well, that's yeah. Maine. You know, they, it's up same, there in the same, same area. There, yeah. It was a no, Maine no, guy no. that drove There's down. No difference. No, I've been in New Hampshire. They speak a little differently. Yeah. You yeah, might they, have nothing to say, but they sound differently as they're saying nothing. Can't get there what? from here. That's me. Farm remembers. Yeah. What Petra kind of farm remembers? What kind That's of wood story you tell? Yeah, why I wanted you... to buy some wood, so I went outside. There it was. This... Why, <laughs> why did you need wood? I we we're looking for a mantle for our fireplace. <laughs> oh, God, he died a few years doing? ago. Oh, dude, geez. I don't know. What do women do? They go on. Oh, my, a, oh okay. my mission is right. getting a seagull or a new iPhone. Hers is buying wood. A piece wood? of wood for a mantle? Yeah, for a fireplace. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait. It was a piece of wood that's going to be made into the mantle? Made into a mantle. It's a big piece of fucking wood. Well, I don't have. No, it's not Why'd a you big get a fireplace. Made? It's a New York City fireplace. Get it custom made. It's not, it's not your mansion fireplace. Oh, you want to buy one in the store? It's a fucking 1820 building. It's when they, you know, they, <laughs> they made a fireplace <laughs> in the, the living room heat. just to heat yeah. up a fireplace. Fucking family well, get of eighteen. It, get, a, <laughs> get a custom made, huh? Why are you doing all the hard it, work? No, Call, it's it, hire it, a guy and go. That's hey. what we were. That's the guy. Oh, we're at a wood I guy place. You were place. getting a piece of wood, and then <laughs> no, you're gonna like this guy. Then custom, you're gonna whittle it into something. Uh, he has all this wood. and He makes furniture, and we went in, and the guy was talking. This the guy was talking to me. He's, he's like, "What do you do?" I go, "I do comedy," oh, which you, you expect to explain. You First know, mistake. And then he goes, "Yeah, I do too, kind of. I, I I'm a storyteller. I'm a I do funny stories." Oh and God! I, it's just like wow. Wow. Storytellers. You had a nice piece of wood, and there was a knot in it that was very inconvenient. After all these years, you wow. haven't learned that you tell these people the most boring job ever so they don't ask to follow up. I tell question. that to Asian massage parlor ladies because you can't. <laughs> Comma, what? Comma? How do you mean, comma? What? Comedy? You know, jokes. Comedy? Comedy? I don't know. Well, Asians have a very good sense of humor, I've found over the years. Yeah, okay. yeah they do. Excuse me when you roll over. <laughs> <laughs> it's volcano. Look at the. Oh. It's shoot. Oh, my God. It erupts. They must be oh, laughing. Baby. Oh, oh baby. baby. Pulling that practical joke they all love to pull out on the roads. <laughs> Where it's like, oh, okay, I'm doing two miles an hour, get it? Cause they drive slow. <laughs> yes. Boy, was I tied up there. Yeah. I didn't know where to go. And we both just stared at you. Yeah, I know. We That's all you have on storytellers? Dude, type, type in storytellers. Do video search. Don't do web search. Yeah, we're gonna what are you read doing? It? The fuck Sam, are you doing? video you wanna, searching. He wants us to read about storytelling. And now he sees uh, we got MTV storytellers or VH1 Not storytellers. Not them, no. storytellers. Storyteller, yeah, New Hampshire from New Hampshire, New Hampshire. We tease the segment of the show. Tellers. It better be good. Yeah, really. the it's Before terrible. the break, I said we're going to talk about storytelling. Oh, it's boy. Don't let the people down, oh, Bobby. It's not me. There's your, it, it's your tease. God damn it, Bobby. Well, if you had a fucking guy that could find some YouTube storytelling, right. Right. Sam, right stop there, playing games. Fucking... Jesus, Sam. I'm looking for wrestling. Here we go, Bob. Bob tales. Bob tales. Bob tales. Storytelling. There we go, guys. Come on. By Bob, by Bob Reiser. Reiser. 120 views. That's 120 not bad. views. Up there. Hand that over a year. Up there. That's a Heroes lot. Heroes come in every size. What? Who is it? Who? Who is it? And I found this wonderful Japanese story. <laughs> I hate you, about a one inch about a boy. Bomb that went off. A one-inch boy. Sure. This is the thing I ever saw. He's acting it out like there's a one-inch boy. 
<laughs> He's doing both. It's got all these demons in it. Now the demons in it. The uh, Isn Boshi, the one inch This boy. guy has got, got to be a pedophile. Boys, you know, oh, I know this guy. Oh, you're and your and uncle Paul. Sure, the, the I, one inch boy story. Coming out of me as I was doing it. <laughs> Wait, characters come out. Out, of it. Oh. out from behind the bush. A terrible demon. <laughs> It was, he was really horrible and a great big Is he in front of an audience of children? Yeah, Nine-year-olds. Like firing squad. I think he just got... <laughs> <laughs> I think I just heard him got heckled by a nine-year-old. Yes, you suck. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep the stories interesting. Oh, really? There's a little one-inch boy. Yeah. Come here, let me give you something to hold while I tell you this story. <laughs> By the end of the story, he turns into a two-inch yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you kiss the bag the boy's holding? <laughs> so they Smells have... like onions. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like Smells onions. like he's carrying a bag of fish. <laughs> yes, Bobby. So they have, you know, these bars, these local pubs, and these little restaurants, and the guy will come in, and they'll do storytelling night. Uh, like comedy. Do we have a little better oh, audio, oh. Sam? This is... Yeah, this is the audio. Is, uh, echoey. No, you know, this know who's a storyteller, and he's very good at it? Sleeves. Ugh. Who sleeves? I hate sleeves. You know exactly. what? We probably should play the the leaf one again. <sighs> no, this is the Christmas. No, this thing. is the Christmas. We're shit. not ready for the Christmas. I sleeves don't yet. fucking subject me to this now. We're ready for the uh, fall foliage. Uh, oh, here's Judy. Up. Judy. Oh, look at this fucking lump of shit. <laughs> Come on, he's just showing you something. <laughs> it's not me, Jim. <laughs> Wow. He is you're, mean. you're a fucking nerd. You know what, James? Jimmy. Sometimes you oh, cut deep. Jimmy. It's very mean, Bobby. I want to acknowledge how mean Jimmy's Yeah, but his, his timing is really brilliant. Oh, you gotta get God. Jimmy's timing. That's why people get confused. This, this, very... woman is, this woman is shaped like a mountain. <laughs> And she's got like a, a head of a, her hair looks like a cumulonimbus it's, no, it, cloud. It's, it's a cancer <laughs> wig. Yes. She's wearing a cancer <laughs> wig. A, what kind of cloud is a it? A cumulonimbus <laughs> storm cloud. Look, it's like all the ones they get down in Tampa. Yes, they're all rolling in dark clouds. That's what her hair looks like. <laughs> Got a mini cloud That's over her head. Funny. She looks like a big man. <laughs> I hope her story. I, I hope it's a bad story. <laughs> oh, you, so you, you, let's just fast forward to the middle. And then they said, you know, she's fucking uh, Sonny Warts is his wife. And he says to me, get on the ride, you fat pig. And I said, is he going to shoot me and dump my body in the river? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh, let's hear uh, Judy Pelkin. Yeah. Oh. Pelican. No, Pelkin. 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 Let's hear her story. Judy Pell can kill herself for all I care. <laughs> Go ahead. Featuring Judy Pikin. Oh, Pikin. Oh, of course, Pikin. Pikin. Yeah. So the Pikin, Beggar she does. King. Oh. oh. <laughs> yes, I thought it was, it was really quick. I Charles said. Taylor. <laughs> can I have a piece of gum so I can kill the hunger pains I have? I'm sorry. They're, they're getting you a new one. Oh. Fucking asshole. <laughs> they're ordering you a new one. I don't want a new, new one. one. Hold the I don't shoe. want one. <laughs> Hold <Yes>. the shoe. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, that was so mean, Jerry. Hold the nine and a half <laughs> wide. <laughs> yes, hold it and just and gently, <laughs> gently, <laughs> gently manipulate it. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh shit, man. Go ahead, the All beggar. Right, the beggar, the beggar king, king is the yes. story that Judy Pikin's going to be. Hold on, lesbian hairdo just walked by. I saw uh, oh, the emo Steve kid. Blatter. Steve Blatter, uh, emo kid. <laughs> All, All right. right, let's see the beggar king. By Judy Pike. Truth and illusion. What we see, what we think we see. A pig? <laughs> Asmodai, oh, no. the king of the demons, stood in chains before King Solomon's throne. Sounds like a cartoon. Now that the temple is built, said Solomon, I will give you your. 4,400 views? Not bad. Provided yeah. that you can give me the answer. To a question that has plagued me deeply. Oh, yes. Monastat 7. <laughs> I am asked to be a 625. <laughs> uh, diabetes. <laughs> well, go back no, to the, it doesn't look natural. <laughs> go back to the, the question part. <laughs> we'll stop it. <laughs> Provide it. That you can give me the answer to a question that has plagued me deeply. Modest at seven. 
It's just too funny, dude. Yeah, the, the it burning itch. <laughs> How do you remember itch. Monistat 7? What a fucking great... Uh, this chick. Uh, can we bail yeah. on this chick? No, I want to hear story her story. This thing. is good. I don't oh. like her story. This yeah, is good. This let's is, hear it. Let's hear a little more. We'll hear a little yeah. more. She is really over. Are all the storytellers dramatic like this, yeah, Bobby? Bobby? What about yeah? They're all dramatic. Yes. Yeah. You got to to tell a story. Oh. You have to when you walk into a room and you yeah. see a woodpecker through the window. And he looks at you for a glance, oh, and ooh. then begins to peck again. Oh, I like this story. <laughs> and then Bobby's a storyteller. I sit in the rocking chair and I grab the needle and thread, ooh. and I begin to make my mittens, knowing that the winter will come soon. <laughs> I can feel the door open, <laughs> and the wind curls my toes. <laughs> there is a loud <laughs> crashing sound <laughs> as the rocking chair. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Jimmy are storytellers together. Uh, Bobby, I he for just one insults you as you're telling your <laughs> story. But I for one was enjoying the storytelling. Bobby. Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I was enjoying. So it. I have. Can you add like candlelight that, or something? Yeah, like you're knitting mittens. And maybe, so, maybe I'm knitting maybe, mittens. Maybe yes. a, a to cold. put on the German Shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some cold, <laughs> cold climate off. outside. All right, it's cold outside. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. As I pick myself up off the floor. <laughs> yeah, you got to start there. <laughs> I grab the wood that is now used to be my rocking chair, and I make it into kindling. Ah. Knowing that soon the whistle will blow and my hot cocoa will be ready to drink. Oh. Ooh. Crackling fire. Nice. I hear a knock at the door. Is it the woodpecker? Oh. Is it a friend? Is it a foe? Well, you can count that out. <laughs> <laughs> the intervention group. <laughs> Woodpeckers are right to foe. <laughs> I, I saw say, it's the pizza guy. <laughs> Creepy Craig. <laughs> oh, shit, my voice. Oh, I gotta is stop. That a funny no, one? keep storytelling. Uh, we like this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you found your niche. Yes. Oh. As uh, I walk. <laughs> knock at the door. Knock at the door. As I walk across the floor, you can hear the creaks. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay. I uh, see the water in the glass move. I'm okay, calling so. you steak spear. <laughs> All right. I want to hear the story. Yeah, 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 I apologize. Yeah. How does the story go? <laughs> you're walking across the floor. Okay. Oh, shit. You got the visual. Yeah. Walk you're across gonna, the floor. You're going to open the door? I don't I, know. I, op I go to the door. Oh, okay. And I do not look out the peak hole. Oh. Because I know in my heart, in my heart's heart, in the <laughs> hearts of hearts of hearts, that it is a friend. I open the door quickly, and the rush of cold air hits my bald head. <laughs> oh, well, okay. And I look to the left and to the right, and nobody is there. Ooh. Nobody is there. Run, Friend, kids. foe. <laughs> foe. Oh, woodpecker. Where'd and the woodpecker then, go? I thought you already said it was a friend. He no. knew it in his heart of hearts, but then he's opening it and he was wrong. There's oh, no there. he's oh, looking I left and right. Going. All right. The cold air hit his bald head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I shut the door. I go back. I hear <whistles> the faint whistle of my hot cocoa being ready. Oh. I run back into the kitchen. Oh, what's left of it? Oh. oh. <gasps> Someone has tricked me. They knocked on my front door to get my misdirection. Oh. So that they could go into the kitchen and take all of my food and crumpets. <laughs> crumpets. <laughs> the sounds of the of the tractor trailer backing up should have tipped me off. <laughs> <laughs> I see the red lights of a truck leaving. <laughs> It was not a woodpecker at all. It was a Mack truck backing up into my house. <laughs> the only thing they left me was a whistling kettle oh. that was whistling in my face. I turned the gas down. The whistle slowly <laughs> subsided. Sub yes, slowly subsided. Oh. Oh. I can play along with this story. The whistle though. slowly subsided. The whistle. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now.
now <laughs> because the hole in the wall from the truck, oh. the cold air rushes through my bones into my eyes and out my ears. Well, I because there's my... nothing inside to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I pour myself a cup of hot cocoa as quickly as possible. I put my slippers on, my robe that my grandmother once made me, oh, and my mittens. Out of a ship sail. <laughs> <laughs> I know you hate the apology more than the insult. I hate, don't apologize. I wrap the sail around my chest once. I squeeze to get the button on. I put the mittens that are barely made on my hands. That's nice. I run to the fire and I stoke it with the rocking chair that is now broken because of my weight. The fire. Warms my bones, warms my heart, warms my eyes. And I realize hmm? that I'm alone Aww. in my house. <laughs> with a gaping hole in the side, yes. <laughs> with a hole in the side. <laughs> Sitting by a fire with an with an almost unmistakable urge to put an apple in my own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and I realize I have no apples <laughs> or crumpets or tea. Oh, you've been robbed. <laughs> Is that how the story ends? I have no chair. I have no food. I have no friends. I have mm. no foe. But what do you have? I have a woodpecker uh. in the distance. Ooh. Uh. Pick, 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 pick. Gently tap <laughs> the diary of Anne Frankfurter. <laughs> People just want to put I, food in everything. I slow. I wonder why. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> Ernest Heavyweight's coming in. Too. <laughs> That's a good one. I officially didn't make a fat joke. Uh, I like it. How do you like my story? I like so it. Far, I'm, so a, I'm a very good, visual. I'm a. I. I, I, I can see that on book radio. I'm a. I'm a good storyteller and I'm a professional whistler. Right, Sam? Very good. That's right. Oh, you know how to like whistle? Steve the whistler? I actually was a professional whistler from 1997 to 1999. I was a world champion. Two years. Can world you give champion. us a little bit? Tell us a little. I can try. Give what are you going to whistle? whistle. Uh, whistle. Well, I'll whistle. What Do you I, whistle patriotic stuff? Uh, this like, is what I won in 1999 with. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get good. No, he won a competition doing this. We're blessed to have him today. Oh, I know this song. <laughs> it's like a drum solo. <laughs> Wow. Oh. All right. You know what? You Thank won a competition you. in 1999. That's, yeah, because what I... What title? I, what title? The Grand uh, Master Champion? I was the champion whistler of 1999 of the world. Damn. Wow. The world. I beat a Korean. Damn. Jean Quan Quan. Very hard for them to yeah. whistle. Uh, yeah. Fucking bullshit. Mm. Oh, Chippa. <laughs> What's the matter, Chip? Number one, more uh, this. To ask why we fight. I uh, used to ask yeah. why the fall. Yeah. I actually wrote a couple of my songs. My, my grandfather. This oh, guy's man. a punk right here. Hey, Steve the Whistler at this thing? I. Uh, this is the guy I beat. I don't know, he sounds pretty good. What? What are they putting typewriting sounds I don't in know. it? Stupid. This guy's, he's a friend of mine. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> I gave him that, that part right there I helped him with. It's terrible. I can't whistle. Oh, poor Jimmy can't whistle, that's right. This bitch, though, she cheats. 
Yeah, that's from a cartoon I did for Disney years ago. That was when the birds uh, uh, came out. Oh, look at this idiot. Ugh. Uh, Where's he, Steve the Whistler? He's Jeffrey Russian. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I could have danced oh, all you know the night. song. Uh, da, 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 She's da, got da. good lungs for whistling. She's got giant tits. <laughs> Everybody can whistle, and but it makes it. Uh, the, it's fascinating that it's coming out of your human body without using uh, an instrument. Yeah, but you have a million instruments to make it sound. Yeah, good. yeah. Oh, the three whistling tenors. Yeah, these guys are hacks. God, they're hacks. Oh, they're all whistling now on stage. It's like a whistling fucking uh, jam session. Yeah. I wasn't there that year. Bobby, can you give us just a little more to break? Because yeah. we got Big Edge coming up with her new book, uh, Bigger is Better. Whistling's terrible. Yeah, here, this is a song my grandfather wrote. <laughs> it's, it's a number called Put This in Your Mouth, Son. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Bobby's going to be at Levity Live at uh, West Nyack, New York, in the Palisades Mall tonight through Sunday. And Jimmy's leaving us in a little while to go out there to California. Irvine. California. Improv. Oh. All weekend long, right, Jimmy? Friday, Saturday? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Th Thursday. Tonight you were performing yeah. out there. Uh, <laughs> it's, this is what the seagull sounds like when it's deflating. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Big Ange next. Sirius XM. And now... The Obi and Anthony Show. Uh, Bob Kelly is discussing something with Jimmy Moore right now. Hey, Sam. <clears throat> Hold on, Bob. I gotta yeah. talk to Sam. Oh, what are you talking to Sam about? Oh, you're getting Bobby all jealous. What are you, you talking don't, about? You're not into Sam anymore, right? Because he's a man right? now. Remember when he was a I little said? boy? Oh, yeah, he's God, a chip. You know what I said? He's What'd probably ordering some green eggs and ham or something. Yeah. His hair even looks like a Dr. Seuss character. Dr. Seuss. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you shut the fuck up. Bobby, I, wanna, nice I actually hair, like Sam's new hair. Bobby, I like his hair down. Bobby, I got a, I got a treat for you. Yeah, what's up? We're waiting for the big ants to show up. Yeah. <clears throat> Bigger is better. Her mm -hmm. new book, Real Where Life Wisdom bitch? from the No Drama Mama. <laughs> Bob Kelly's going to be at Lovely Live, West Nyack, New York, in the Palisades Mall. But I, I want to show you something. I want to see it, too. Could you close your eyes until we're ready for you, Bobby? Yeah, sure. What is that? What's that, Bobby? Sam's funny. Do you Did remember you which one? I don't know what that is. Is that your pass to get up here? All right. No. Bobby, Bobby, let me see. If you will, please. Yeah. Just, just look at that. That's... Just like oh, that. That's little like, maggots. Yeah, little maggots. Kind of nose. Where is it? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bobby! Bobby! Don't do this shit. I, 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 don't Bobby. fuck yourself, Opie. I'm not Look doing it. What's that wrong terrible? with you? Fuck that. My throat. You're going to fuck my throat up, you fucking I don't know that it's going to fuck sucker. up your throat. <laughs> I'm not looking at it. Bobby, I don't maggots. give a fuck. Right. I got six shows this weekend. I'm not sabotaging that to look at that right, stupid we, all shit. All right, we went to the Levity uh, website. Look, it's... Yeah, no, we, <laughs> I don't get it. What do you think? This is 87? <laughs> Do you want to see the one where they this no in the gums? WAF again? All right, we went. We, we. Can you look <laughs> at least? No, I won't. Look, it no, is no. really gone. I don't. It's not shit. that bad. I now, don't it's care. A nose. I don't care. I can't. Please, Listen Bobby. to me. I, I really can't. It, I can't because my throat. I'll tell you what it is. Bobby I don't Bobby understand it. Look, no. see, it's fine. Look, you're out of your mind. Look, no, I'm not. I'm not puking. Look, I'm bit. I don't look, care, Opie. That's just a nostril. I don't care. Ah, fucking A. There's a whole... There's a, God damn it. I can't look at this. There's a whole nest of maggots in this yeah. guy's nose. I yeah, but is it there because... The why flag. is that there? Is he dead? Wait, well, he's, he's looking not. at his throat, He's looking too. at his throat. Yeah, good. Wait. I'm looking at a mic flag right in front of my See, face. See, the throat is fine. I'm looking at I'm Anthony looking. looking at a mic flag. I'm not looking. Bobby, I'm not you got this. throat stuff. That's so weird. No, because if I do that, I'll fucking shred my throat. And then I won't be able to speak this weekend. All right, the video's done. So Opie can fucking... All right, the video's done. It's person's nose. Happened way you? up in the ha looking. What happened to you? Let's play trust. <laughs> what happened to you? Let's play trust. Okay. The video's done. Here you go. Ready? Do you trust me? Not at all. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever seen. Let's just fast forward to five minutes from now. Did Ask you me if you 
Boogers, Anthony? <laughs> Never. Not. With boogers on them? Ask me. Ask me. No! <laughs> ten years from now. We're in a time machine. Ten years from you now. You trust me, Bobby? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Still? You're old. You're Fuck. on your deathbed. Thanks. And you're holding a cross. And you're saying the Our Father. And then now ask me. Do you trust me? Bobby? Absolutely not. No. I, I, no. Would you would you eat one of those like imagine fishing your finger in there and you'd have like maggots crawling in a in a booger film. I'd use one for fly fishing. It's a booger <laughs> film. Could you audition I, for that? <laughs> I'd take oh what about the one under There's the gun? There's a whole nest of maggots. You could see them all crammed up I against saw the them, back yeah. of the side. I would take one of those and put it on a hook and catch a nice rainbow. Oh, How does, there you go. Sam, how does this fuck boat. up your throat though? If I puke, when I puke, when I throw up, the acid oh, yeah. comes yeah, up yeah, yeah. and shreds yeah, your throat. Yeah. Throat. I won't be able to talk. I used to do Fair enough. Yeah, it I, right, can't, it's done. It's I done. can't even look at that. It's, it's done. Fucking, Thank it's God. done. Oh, God, you fucking get that off. What is that? Oh, it's just a butt fly. A butt fly. Oh, bot the you butt flies are the worst. Fucking that's bot the, fly. That's the one that has a hole in your head and it comes out and you got to, like, tape it shut to kill it. Ah, Something tape like that. It. Like, <laughs> right? Oh, no, I don't, you can look at bot I don't want a bot fly yeah, on Bot me. flies aren't bad. Oh, God. Do I, I don't get I don't like bot flies. I don't want a bot fly. I think I got a bot fly. No. Oh, how about a I'd divorce my wife if she had a bot fly. Who wouldn't? I literally would take the ring off her finger while she was sleeping. She'd wake up like Leave. like in Meatballs, the Leave. counselor out in the lake on a bed. Yes. <laughs> her, her and her bot fly. Oh, I've had it with the That's bot so fly. so bizarre. No, yeah. Bobby, you good? Parasites. Yeah, I'm, good. I'm trying to show you something. I know. I it's, I from, it's from your guy, Dr. Steve. He's on your podcast Dr. network. Dr. Steve. I love Dr. Steve. I thought Steve. we could share a little bit. You know, he's. I have to get eye surgery. What? I have a, a, a pucker on the back of my eye. What's a pucker it's on the back asshole. of your eye? I woke, <laughs> I woke up one day. I couldn't read the cable box time. It was my right eye. You don't like, need a new eye. You need an education. <laughs> it's because you couldn't speak. I get it. I get it. I got it. <laughs> I don't like I, Time jokes are stretching it, though. What's That's, going on with you? You got a pucker on the nobody, back of your eye. Could nobody, you fucking get that off? I really can't what, do the, the show. What, the hole in the toe? That's kind of cool. It. I can't do it. What's but, that top one say? I it's a, it. uh, I forget. Uh, top right. It's a pucker no, right. uh, succubus. Yeah. Uh, what, is the, what is the butt under that? I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh, this is easy, Bob. You can do this one. Opie, look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You but, really. But you're it's a really, transsexual. You like transsexuals. Well, now you get my curiosity peaked. I but swear listen. it's a transsexual. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. No. Mm, yeah, no. What was the one under that? Disgusting. Yeah. Bobby? Uh, you're so decent. Uh, look, it's, look, it's sad that you're nice desensitized. Yeah. Look at the pussy. That's a nice pussy. <laughs> Wait. All right. Let's make a deal. Can I you won't look, look at, at it. Can I you look, look at, at a pussy? No. I am not doing it because I can't Vaginal fucking, exam. I don't... Look at me. Oh, Actually, look at my eyes, stupid. Ass, stupid. Asshole exam. Hey, hey, what hey. What are they doing? Bobby. Look at my eyes. You like it? You like look asshole. at my eyes. Get those, those fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. pale... <laughs> those pale German eyes. Look. look at me. It's just an asshole. See, Jimmy. You Jimmy. European face. Look right, at me. I trust Jimmy. I don't if trust don't believe anybody me. in this room. I don't, know. I don't, I don't know. Fuck, that is so goddamn... <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Anthony's <laughs> face. You're fucking... fucking oh, because you, you so had him. He yeah. was ready to look. <laughs> I was going to fuck Oh, boy. Look, yeah. what is look that? at the asshole. Yeah. It's like a tongue. It's moving on its own. <laughs> oh, what wow. Is that? Come on, Bobby. This is not You're something you see every day. Uh, I'm not, ruining my, I'm not ruining my throat for Don't you. Don't look Oak. at Anthony anymore. I he's could giving it away. A it's a nice fuck. pussy, though. Jimmy, it's good, right? It's, I he's sewing something in the asshole. It's like, it's like a fissure being fixed. It's not that bad. It's not, it's, I thought it was a bug. Not that bad, really. Honestly, you're sewing. Right. Look to your right. Nah, you're out of your mind. That I think you could do this one, Bobby. You're out of your mind. I'm encouraging you. I think you could do this. You're out of your mind. Look, I think you could do this. you're crazy. Don't try to pep talk me, Dad. You know, simply... Trying to play on my I don't have a father routine. What kind of what kind of surgery is this? I just want to be taught things. I I want, I want pep talks. Curiosity isn't getting you on this one? No, nah, I'm not, I'm not sure? doing it. If my throat was fine, I'd play along with your hijinks. Yeah, hijinks. But other than that, you can go fuck yourself. You and my... It looks like a You tongue. and your That's fucking no, it's bleeding white lady no, it's cheeks. It's bleeding a little. Just want to warn you, it's bleeding a little. Are you okay with blood? I don't like your you cheeks, Hope. I want, <laughs> I want you to fix your white lady cheeks. <laughs> I got cheekbones. <laughs> I know. I don't like your high... Uh. Fucking cheekbones. I might be like from way up north. I think. Yeah, you're. You have. I think I might have some. You're. You have Viking blood, or, blood in you. Or but you're some not, kind of Eskimo or something. But you're not. You're not a I hunter. Something going on there. That you're not the guy that went away on war. You're the guy that stayed back. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bob. And planned the war. Thanks. Oh, I can plan a war. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, that's not yeah, bad. I thought I had there, to uh, do the cooking uh, with the ladies. Hang or something. <laughs> no, you know, you're not a cooking. Okay, you were good, gathering nuts and berries. Yeah, you didn't go fight the war. My biggest problem is I don't know my mom's side of the family at all. Right. Like I, I do that thing on the internet. You know, we were hanging out as a family yesterday. We were trying to figure out what my mom's mom's name is, and we don't know. 
How fucked up is that? That's bad. That's weird. Because That's I'm weird. having a daughter, and I don't want to. Oh, that's great. I don't want to. I don't want to name her after this fucking cunt. Are you? <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> you don't even want to take a chance. You might hit it. Yeah. No, like, I, I thought you your daughter know. Gertie. Right. My Ethel. mom's mom. Yeah, Gertie. I, my mom's mom. I don't call her grandma. She never was. Uh, she's the precious brud. Yeah. Uh, she has a first name. None of us know what it is. How weird is that? That is weird. I don't know. And I don't know. want. I don't want my daughter to be by accident by accident uh, named after her. And who is you? That's your grandmother. No, she's my mom's mom. Your mom's mom. You could do the math and figure out it's a grandmother. Huh. Biologically, yeah. So, you having a daughter? Yeah. Are you excited about having a little girl? No. Why? Yeah, I actually. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm, I, no, sure. I, I'm excited. That was the I, worst I, day yeah. of fucking Opie's life. Uh, I'm excited. I'm but going it, to a pool party. Where? Uh, oh Jesus! Uncle, aunt. <laughs> Believe me, there's always going to be assholes like me around. <laughs> <laughs> they might play this tape back. Of course, I'm excited, but I, I think <laughs> I'm going to stay over. Anthony's oh, too, God. too exactly. drunk to drive me home, Dad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> at least I'll be oh. way too old to give a fuck at that. Uncle point. Jimmy's here too. We're all in the hot tub. Uh, <laughs> Oh, 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 my God. We're going to watch a movie. Oh, oh no. We're playing yeah. fucking... It's called Casino. He said there's a good part with Pesci oh, my in a God. trailer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm excited, but uh, fuck. Fuck. Suck. We if know... She, she came up doing movie lines from Godfather. You'd punch her in her face. <laughs> As guys, we know all the moves. I'm just thinking, oh, God. Uh, uh, oh, I want to have a daughter God. more than a, if, uh, a boy if I have a kid. Cause, really? Yeah, I'm afraid my anger and rage will come out on the guy. You know what I mean? I know that I'm better with women. What? You're, I'm better with women. Like Guys want guys and, as for their uh, first child. I don't. I There's don't want not a guy. guy alive that doesn't want a son first. I don't. First, yeah. May your yeah. first Absolutely. child be a feminine child. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you kind of want that uh, g- kid Lineage. that's going to guard the, uh, also going to guard the, the daughter. Kelly you know. The Kelly estate. The Kelly name. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I want a girl. You do. Huh? I want a girl. I don't want a guy. You want a daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want to get into what that What was your name? Or my... oh, you don't know. Uh, Sapphire. I don't fucking know. Mm. This woman merits you turning off all the fucking TV. <laughs> Is she really? here? Is she coming in? she here now? I'll, I'll pop right over. Bobby, this is yeah, call it Big Ang. What's up? She's in the bathroom. You still got the original dude. case for the it's iPad. Like dump. This is the iPad 1. Well, I got to go. You have the one. iPad 1? What? Yeah. Who's going? I got to go. Where? Where are you going? Irvine, California. I, I got a oh. flight to catch. I got a show Bobby, tonight. Got a show on Friday. How are you getting there? Saturday. Going to take a plane, zip, zip. You're going to tunnel? <laughs> We're going to take a... No, I'm going to take a plane. Burrow. Bobby. Like a mall. He just pops his head out in a mall parking lot. <laughs> it's the wrong place. I'm in Texas. I got to go. Back down. <laughs> Can I defend my iPad at least? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. The screen, I mean, the screen doesn't look bad. There's nothing different about... There's no retina about, display, there's, there's my friend. different about this. Oh. Yeah, that was a good move, though. Yeah, yeah, you got to give it up. You got to give it up. He stepped up his fucking game. You got to give it He had some disgusting See, display like playing on his like iPad. It. He should have shut the volume off. Yeah. The, I heard the volume, and it triggered me you off at the last look. second. You did oh. look. I that did. wasn't he, bad. That look. was really good. It. To look at another gross that, video. Yeah, yeah, that was that was fucking gross. What? It's just kind of like a uh, like a whitehead coming this out. This is what of I should do. This nose. is what we do to make him not make me want to puke. Yeah. I threw up on him once. Ah, my every, kid threw up yesterday. I, I said, he was showing him disgusting videos. I said, videos. fucking bring it. My puke and your kid's puke bring is totally bring different. Bring it. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you want to puke? Seriously. Bob's video. puke tastes like cum. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that, but Let's, then I was like, why would I make fun of myself? <laughs> Let's negotiate where you puke on me. I was wondering, if girls swallow right, cum, not. does it come out in their piss or shit? I think it just gets, gets absorbed into the horror system. You know what it's I mean? like, what is that? Does it come out like a, an X-Men shit where it's just clear? Like, <laughs> Is that a solid or a liquid? <laughs> what does yeah. it come out in their piss? How does it, how does it come, come out? Yeah. Bobby? Yes, sir. I'm not going to let you get the best of me. Where do you want to puke on me? Uh, Let's negotiate this. On his dick. Again? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm not going to puke on you. That would make me... Get off me, no, fucking No, you said I, I could take your puke. Just yeah. not on the face. I'll let you puke right here. That's I just uh, why I don't, I don't. So I have to smell. What the? It. This is no. just weird. It is weird, it's but weird I don't want you, you just, just fucking think you got the, that one you had the sentence. Stop touching me, Edgar. That's, that's that good. you just said. I'll let you th- right, puke here, on my upper comes. chest. Yes, yes, bring it right in. Bring it right in. All right, move over uh, there, uh, Bobby. Big Ange. How you doing, Big Ange? Ooh, there's a lot of guys. God yeah, damn, Big Ange. Take a seat. Take a seat right there. We're we're live on the air. 
Take a wow, seat. Wow, nice right small there. ass. There you go. I didn't realize just your ass was. Oh, sorry. What's that? Look at it. She's got a nice ass. Because the, the yeah. boobies are big, so sometimes you think the rest is big. But no, it's it's yeah. nice. That's a compliment. I know it sounds a little weird. Hello. Hello. Big Ange, bigger is better in studio. That's Bob Kelly to your right. Hi, honey. Hi, Bob. Nice to meet you. What's going on, guys? <laughs> hey. This is too early for me. It is. is it? It's yeah, early yeah. for us. And we've been doing this a long time. Yeah. So what the uh, what the yeah. hey ho? What are you up to? Uh, you got the show. People are watching it, right? Well, today was on Channel Eleven News, eight o'clock this morning. How did that work I'm out? On the roll since seven this morning. Wow, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Had fun. Now, how did you get this? Uh, how did you get this show? This voice. Oh, oh, the show. No, the show. How did this you get voice? this? Yeah. Now you were a spinoff from. Mob Wives. Mob Wives, right. So now, uh, who... I was only supposed to be on Mob Wives for six episodes. Don't ask me what happened. <laughs> I won't ask you nothing. <laughs> what, what was I... your connection to Mob Wives? Like, who, how is, how is your... Don't use the word connection. Uh, Jennifer uh. Graziano came to me and said, would you like to try out six episodes? I said, okay, I'll try. But if I, family wise, who were you related to that made you, uh, a Mob Wife? Oh, a Mob my, Wife. Oh, my uncle wife. Sally Dogs. Sally Dogs? Sally Dogs. I know Sally Dogs. Hey, Sally Dogs. I know Sally Dogs. What kind of hijinks and shenanigans yeah. was he pulling? He, he was into some What did he things. do? Some, some things? Yeah, well, he was in jail for 22 years. He died two years ago. Oh, banana. In jail. Oh, did he, huh? Sorry to hear. Yeah. Did you really know him? Yeah. Sally Dogs. He's a legend. Yeah. Did he, I'm uh... I'm serious. W w did he off a few people? You don't know Perhaps. Sally Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. 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 So then uh, I guess you stood out so much on the Mob Wives. So this is how it happens. I did the six episodes. From there, I stood 17. From there, I got a spinoff. From there, I got a book. And now possibly a movie. I don't know what's happening Whoa. here. A movie? Now, what's your... <laughs> I, love, now, I, was, I love the voice. What's the, what's the, what's, what's the life like now? What, uh, what, what do you do now? Oh. Chaos, insane. Yeah? You should only see what it's like walking in the streets. A lot of people recognize you now? Everywhere I go, all morning. Really? Big they want to take pictures? Every, every day. Do people you like chest ever? Do you get mad if somebody looks at your chest? No, here, yeah, look. Those are giant tits. Wow, those are giant. Holy yeah. Man. Those are like uh, almost, almost, uh, I'll go with footballs. I yeah. say they're like. I was going to say basketball. They're a little smaller than basketball. Are those fake? They're more like a honeydew. <laughs> honeydew. <laughs> honeydew melons. Whoa. <laughs> Big ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like honeydew melons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I said sweet. <laughs> so now, when, well, at what age did you start uh, getting cosmetic surgery? Like, like uh, you're twenty-five. Twenty-five. What made you decide at twenty-five you wanted to start uh, doing oh, things? Oh, my tits were in my waist. I decided at twenty-five oh. they were. That's crazy. <laughs> well, I had the baby, and that's what happened. Oh, okay. You know, everything falls. Everything just <laughs> fell. So you decided to, to bring it back up. Bring it back. Exactly. Has your yeah. voice always been like like this? Yes, it's terrible. I smoked the brown cigarettes thirty-five years. Oh my God! Is oh, that really? code for a black Smoke? man? <laughs> I'm trying to quit. I want to quit. Okay. I'm going to go to the doctor to quit. Yeah. Why don't you use the patch? That's what I did. I did it, too. I did that, too. Didn't work. Didn't work, Didn't huh? work. What's yeah. going to work, you think? They said I'm going to get something in the ear. Something in the ear? Oh, oh no. Captain, they put creatures in our bodies. What can they put in the, in the ear? <laughs> uh, listen, when I went on... You nerd. The, uh, extra the other day. Years ago, it would have been a 38. <laughs> I went on extra with AJ the other day. Yeah, sure. And he Benza? said he's sending me to a doctor. He smoked 23 years, and he quit. So I'm going to try it. Oh, man. How much do you smoke a day? Like a pack. Oh, okay. But 35 years, the same brand. Are you oh, married? Man. What, what do you smoke? Hudson Benson and Hedges? There. What do you smoke? More? Yeah. Wait, do where's you your husband? More? Your husband's here? Where's more? your more. Do you know how hard it is to get them? Nobody carries them. No one has more anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? Every one of my stores in my neighborhood get them for me. Oh, yes. they get them just for you. <laughs> for big ass. We get them more for you. We pick it That's... up. just perfect for you. We get them more. Yeah, of course. Right? <laughs> right? Of course. We can't see Angie's eyes. Yeah. What kind of eyes you got? You got the bangs in your eyes. There you go. Nice eyes. This big game is all right, man. Where's the husband? He's in there. In there. In there. You guys fight a lot or do you get along well? No, we don't fight. I don't fight. No. You don't fight? I just throw his ass out. Ah, there you go. How long you been together? There's no fight. How long How long you been together? I married three years. Three years? And I was separated, too. Ah, 
Wait, so what does he do? Is he uh, He's sanitation worker. Oh, okay. 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 Waste management. Uh, waste, waste management. Waste management. Oh, I need buddy. a pension. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't get one with a wise guy. No, we speak. No. We speak. What you get is a debt letter. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we speak that language. We understand what's going on. Baby. Hey, what are you going to do? Did you grow up in Brooklyn? Ebony you. Ebony you. you. Brooklyn in the her. Yeah, I lived. I think I lived on Avenue U for a little while. Yeah. But my maybe, uh, maybe eight, nine years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? In Brooklyn. That is so the new Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember the cross, but... No, it's a pretty long game. So, yeah, it is yeah. a long-ass avenue. What's your poison? Do you drink it all? Do you put down a few? Oh, no, nah, not me. Ah, <laughs> yeah. She huh? rolls her eyes. What do you like? I own a bar. What do you do? You like a little wine? You drink a little red wine, right? I drink red wine. I drink Patron. I Patron. drink espresso martinis. I drink anything. <laughs> 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 I drink any. Where's your bar? Where, I'm wait. drinking Jameson. I don't oh, know. Where's your bar? Where's Hardcore. your bar? Staten Island. Of course the it drunken is. Drunken monkey. All right. You know what? We uh, we're New Yorkers, and I don't I don't know anything about Staten Island. No one knows anything about Staten Island. Exactly. This is the last bastion oh, of a bunch no of fucking. No one goes there unless you, know, you know, live there. You know, there. What's Staten Island? my bar. Yeah. Huh? What do you mean? People are coming from all over the world to my bar now. Yeah. It's very popular. That's kind of cool. Staten Island has the hottest chicks. Yeah. I mean. Uh, fucking like, yeah. on, like what the fuck? I did a club out there, Uncle Vinny's, yeah, and the theater out there. And I, I, had a, I used to go to the Starbucks before the show, and it was just hot chick after fucking smoking hot chick. Yeah, big we hair. Ugh, all these little that, Italian girls. Exactly. Young, right? Oh yeah, yeah huh? but some of them were a little old. It didn't matter. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Did you have a good shot with them? No, I don't have a shot with old. anybody. Oh shit! How about a lot older? She says. How old is you? You have a daughter or a son? My, I have a daughter. She'll be twenty-eight. Hot. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. She so, married. <laughs> very good looking. Twenty-eight. Yeah. So Ange is up there. You don't look like you're up there, Ange. Oh, geez. I have a son, twenty-three. Yeah. Very good looking. So your twenty-eight-year-old daughter. Let's let's stick with her. She's uh, <laughs> she's not married. She's a school teacher in oh. Marine Park in Brooklyn. All right. Look at you. Everyone's sticking around Brooklyn. Does she have the big personality no, like you? Me. Staten she Island. She lives with me. Okay. Really? Well, teacher salary. Of course she lives with Big Ange. Are the girls jealous from the other show that you're... She's also a bartender in my bar on Friday night. Oh. Ange, are the girls jealous from the other show because you're such a hit now? They say they're not. Oh, they yeah, are. but they are. They are. You still keep in touch with them at all? Yeah, I was actually with Rita yesterday. We've yeah. had him on. Rita. Rita. We've had him on, Feel right? Them. Yeah. What's yeah. this book about? Are we going to learn anything cool? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it's, she's bigger is better. She don't need no That's money. Book. Big so and bigger fuck. is better. Nah, it's just fun. It's about, you know, when I was arrested. <laughs> but, oh, what happened there? Give us a little arrest story for, for you. Yeah. I figured you like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Why well, were you arrested? What do you think? Uh, uh, I would say uh, Dewey. Oh, what? <laughs> Dewey. I, Let's guess. Dewey? Dewey? Drunk driving. You, you assault. No. Assault, assault and battery. What do you think? Domestic. I boy get drunk driving. That's Never true. That. All right. All right. Assault, assault and battery. battery. No. No assault. Cocaine. Cocaine. Oh, cocaine. shit. Dealing, Dealing cocaine. cocaine. You are hardcore. Nice. I did house arrest. Yeah. For how, how much time? Four months. The rest. But we'll keep it in the colored areas. Let them lose their souls. They're animals anyway. Right? He's funny. <laughs> He's funny. He should go to one of his parties over at his house. Oh, they're hilarious. Well, he don't even know where we live. It's what house? Yeah, I'm Where's out of Long house? Island. Um, oh, you don't like Long so, Island? What's wrong with Long Island? Lost there. You're always oh, getting yeah. lost over there's there? There's only yeah. one way in and out. <laughs> I don't know. Those streets, I'm confused. Yeah. Yeah, there's one way. All My right. son is actually in... Um, I'm going to start going to Long Island. Oh. He's in a drug program um, in Long Island. Oh, yeah? The Phoenix. Was he having trouble with the drugs? Yeah, huh? Oh, do, do you feel uh, guilty about that at all? Maybe maybe you could have been, uh, you no, know. I don't take pills. No? <laughs> I didn't say I was taking the drugs. I said I was selling the drugs. <laughs> she was smart. <laughs> How long ago did you get her head if you're selling that you shit? you take them, then you don't. you're a loser. <laughs> yeah. you sell them, you'll make the moolah. Right. Holy shit. How long ago did you get arrested for it? Oh, 11 years ago. Oh, all right. That's you know, things were there. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do, you know? They're hey, not going to take care of you. Come on, Karen. We're alone here. They're not going to take care of us. Hey, I got a question. <laughs> How the, the lips? Does that hurt to do? I did the lips 12 years ago. But does it hurt to get injections? Years. It does. It fucking hurts. 
Does it? Really? It kills what are they, just injecting? It, it goes right in your eyes to tw- the Holy tears. Holy shit. Down. Really? Yeah. You have to keep getting it for the rest no, of your I, life? I got it. No, I said, let me just do it all at once. Give me five. <laughs> what is five? Holy man? shit. Five tubes. Five, five tubes. People, people get like one. I'm like, give me a little here, a little here. I go, what's that going to do? You're wasting your money. Got to bang it out all at once. Five tubes. Five I tubes. I left the place. I left the place. I was at home like the. Holy <laughs> shit. Black and blue swell. My lips were this big. I was like, what the fuck? I look like that. What am I going to do? Oh, Three days late, And I was going to have my 40th birthday. Oh, man. In Staten Island. Of course. <laughs> I was like panicking, ice packs, everything. But this is it. Twelve years later, still here. See, it worked. Now, now, do you have to get little booster shots every so often? No. That's been like that for twelve years. You're good. Yeah. Holy mother of pearl! I hope they don't go away. You like yeah. they go? She likes the big lips. Yeah, yeah, they're sexy. I like them too. Mm-hmm. I like big lips. Now, you rather to have lips like this or? Little bird, little bird lips. All you see is the teeth. You can't even imitate small lips, though. Look yeah. at you. You just went like, you know, and you still no have more lips, lips. And the lips like <laughs> stuck to their gum. Yeah. Oh, um, man, you don't want that. I've had that this. Bobby, you got a question for Big Ed? No, it's just when she was talking about little lips, little Jimmy started licking his lips like I got I, I like my lips. I got little lips. I like lips, too. Does yeah. Jimmy have exactly. big lips? Does Jimmy have big nice lips? you got a kiss. Look at Jimmy's lips. I have small lips. Jimmy's These been known to have the sexiest fucking. The top. Yeah. No, I purse. Oh, Jimmy, I, I, I you need to five tubes. Look at him purse. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> when I make the Percy <laughs> face, girls little. like it. Like huh? Little, yeah, they are very little. little. He's got yes, one of whips. They look like they're you know, drawn. Men, you know, men do get it. Five tubes, Jimmy. What do you think? You get five I should tubes. get five tubes, but only in the top. You'd I look, should leave the bottom as it is. You look like a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> what else about this book, Big Ange? We got to sell some books for so you. Got arrested. Right. Oh, yeah, you better, you got you the better sell my books. You got the whole story about you getting arrested in I there. Talk about, Short chapters. I like that. Yeah, it's nice. Well, what about some of that? Uh, your uh, uncle there. Some of that mobbed up shit. Let's not, got any that in there? That. Let's not talk about well, that. Well, he's got any in there. That's okay. Well, well, no was, secret. He was I a legend, I man. Talk about, well, yeah, he was a good guy. I yeah. think I talk about, like, when I went out with wise guys, how they bought me million-dollar houses. Oh, nice. Really? Now I got a bed for a Chanel bag. What the uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going, not used to this shit. Uh, You're you making your own money. Good, they huh? bought me businesses <laughs> and houses and Furs and cars. Wow. You dated a lot of wise guys when you like coming up? I did. Are they good yeah. boyfriends? They, I, they were, I thought they were the best. Yeah, huh? Big Ange, yeah. I, uh... Every day's your birthday. How could that be fair? <laughs> <laughs> mafia, mafia guys know how to take care of people. They, well, they certainly do. <laughs> hey, I worked, I, hey, I worked at a golf... I say it a lot. I worked at a golf course with a lot of mob guys. They were way cooler and nicer and took care of us they're more cheap. than the legit guys. Yeah, of course. They're cheap. They're fucking the yeah. worst. The ones that carry wallets are very cheap. Only like guys that have rubber bands. Sorry. Oh yeah. Put the bean. Put the bean on the outside, Mingy. Yeah. yeah. If you're pulling out a wallet, I ain't going out with you. Do they wow. keep receipts for tax purposes? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, but I do lately. Oh shit. I got receipts. <laughs> oh well, you know now uh, you can write that off. You, have to. you write that off. I have. To. Government allows you that. All I Norton. do is shop. I need the clothes for the show. Right, the big show. Clothes were a tough one to write off. Yeah. Clothes were a tough one. She's an entertainer. Unless you're a clown, or unless Listen. you, unless it's something well, you can only absolutely. wear at well, a clown like like I make you laugh. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, that, then you yeah, can only that, wear that. I love that for you. I know of course, that. it's great. Listen. You I need to amusing. wear different clothes every day because you're on camera. Right, yeah. see? You got to put a lot good. of shit. Oh, you got legit. Oh, okay. You're legit. You're legit as far as that goes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you worry about taxes, that. You write anything. that off. You don't want to end up like fucking Al Capone in jail for taxes. So I think or syphilis. The, yeah, well, they'll, they'll clap, right? <laughs> so it talks about like what, all book? my friends talk in the book, yeah. my daughter, yeah. my son, my sisters and brothers. So you had everyone else write the book for you. I no, like little that. chap. <laughs> You're close with the family? Little You're close chap. with your family? I'm very close with my family. Yeah. yeah? You do the holidays over uh, every Sunday. We every Sunday you make sauce. Oh, you make nice. sauce. Oh, it tells you my sauce. No, you make the gravy. Oh. You make the gravy. It's called gravy. I call nice. it sauce. Hate sauce. that. It's it's gravy sauce. or sauce? sauce? I don't know who sauce. calls it gravy. Gravy. It's it's sauce. Sauce. gravy. Gravy's brown. Hey man, oh, like brown. Yes. Well, the guys call it gravy. Come oh. on, I call it sauce. Sauce. Don't make me fucking prove it. 
It's I'm not saying they <laughs> Some I people put the do. sauce with the pig's feet. Ooh. Oh, man. Oh. You look at, how does Bobby walk? <laughs> the I, I really am a good You pissed off Jimmy. <laughs> this is funny. I'm I have to, I have a flight to catch. So you guys do. Oh, I man. love you talking to you, though. Well, that's fun. what he says. But I enjoyed you very much. Do you have oh, your whoa, lucky hat, Jim? Hello, nice pack. Where was you it going? Nice? I don't want your husband to knock my teeth out, though. Yeah, take okay. another one. He's got to go pick up some cocaine from those Pittsburgh guys. <laughs> they sell it. Did he get that? I got it. Well, packed. Nice, gentlemanly. I hope this is the end of you. Okay, okay. now. <laughs> Can I? I want to send you. Don't know. Kenny's like Jim. Never made it downstairs. Okay? <laughs> you can find my fucking sneaker <laughs> behind the curtain. <laughs> You're going to Pittsburgh. On top of no, I'm going to Bobby's uh, Irvine, sandwich. California, Ange. New York. I want Instagram that. Sneaker. Jimmy, Not a bad Jimmy one more time. <laughs> Only if it's okay with Ange. Ange, one more time. Make sure Hi, Mia. Yeah, we're doing the kissing. Oh, oh, she's, oh, is he okay with it? Okay. Oh, he's he's a big fucking guy. All right, good. Is he a big guy? He's not yeah. only is he big, he's in shape. He's not fucking around. I didn't get it. Hey, no, Come you on. Gotta, you got to hold the pose for a picture. He's laughing very uncomfortable in there. He don't care. Don't he's not jealous. Why is he? Bobby said it He just pulled all the guns. Sign he's the waving a I wasn't even out of you. Bobby said it. Ah, really? Is he a total, like, regular guy? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's Irish. Oh, He's shit. Irish. A right. fucking Mick. You're all right with that? God they damn. Nice they got worse tempers than right. the Italian. He's Irish. Well, listen to me, my kraut Mick friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> left. <laughs> I, I hope, hope he's so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I got it. I'm all yeah. guinea. Oh, I keep looking at him. Give him give me I'm all wop. Yeah. I want you to sign my book. Bye, guys. Yeah, take it easy, Jimmy. Have fun. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy's in uh, Irvine. You doing any book signings or anything no, here? No, no. Yeah, where are you going to be? Oh, I'm going to <laughs> Barnes & Noble in Tribeca oh. today at 6 to 8. Okay. Very good. See? You can meet Big Ann. Go there, meet Big Ann. She'll sign the book. You get to look at her tits. I would <laughs> like a picture. Hey, she'll take the fucking picture. You look at her fucking tits. You walk away, get out of here. The fuck kind of, what what want? kind of fucking people are they? <laughs> fucking tits. She's got lips. She's a cop. What the fuck? Huh? Husband's a motherfucking cocksucker. Kissing fucking no lip Jimmy on the mouth like a bird. He's a fucking bird kissing a he, goddess. He really is a bird, isn't he? he? Got the littlest lips. Yeah, she tried to feed him. Tiny little lips. She tried, lips to, were... she tried to feed the Damn cocksucker. Crazy. Like a fucking baby bird. Uh, the, the contrast was hilarious oh on my god. Lips. Oh my god. She kissed his nose and his chin. <laughs> almost sucked yeah. his face in. <laughs> yeah, you did, Ed. That was close. Big Ed almost took out his face. That was a close one. Uh, uh, we got to go, yeah, really? We, we got to tie it up. But, well, because uh, we got the oh, after show. I, I and stuff and scheduling. I don't but let me lie. tell you, you you're What's very funny, I don't go fantastic. Big Ange, uh, the book's bigger. Is better. Are you going to come back and see us? Yes. We'll do cocktails and stuff uh, next oh, time? Oh, yeah. a few cocktails. You on Twitter and stuff, Big Ange? Of course. What is it? We'll Twitter you. What is it, baby? We'll Twitter you. What do you think it is? Big Ange. Big Ange. G H one. Oh, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. Two G's. Two G's. Two G's. Two G's. You fucking piece of shit. You yeah. got <laughs> fucked. She got fucked in the Twitterverse. Ah, oh, that's great. Big Edge, two G's, VH1. It's all over the place. Oh, God. It's you great. just need big yeah, As long as it works. You look very familiar. Oh, oh Bobby, Bobby Kelly. It's the lips. I got you, nice lips. Uh, you may have You're seen. you cute. I got Bobby. nice lips. Bobby's a comedian. Wait, maybe Bobby's I... been in t on TV and in uh, some movies. And uh, he's done some stand-up comedy specials. Oh, you should come. I got comedy night at the bar. We have a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you something about doing. You wanna, yeah, but if you don't do good, <laughs> oh yeah, it could be a problem. Fucking back. Right. I've done yeah. shows for mob guys before. The last thing you want is a six foot six guy named Moosey. You better be funny. Uh, you <laughs> no, you should. We don't have that, in my boy. We have the Irish crowd. All right. You do something funny for Angelo. Just Make, fucking yeah. laugh at him or something. Yeah. Do something. Say something you. about his uncle, but not the other uncle, the one uncle. Right. You say something about the other but uncle. Be, be nice. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> I, did a, I did a mob, guys. Uh, he came out of federal prison. Oh, Joe, nice. Joe the barber. He right. goes, the guy goes, meet me down at Ming's. I go, Ming's has been closed for 10 years. He goes, it's open again. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's all caddies and fucking oh, Mercedes great. in the parking lot, right? Yeah, yeah. I go in. There's there's a table. They're playing cards with no shirts, just wife beaters. <laughs> there's lasagna, lasagna and Chinese food on the table. <laughs> great. So the, he's got his mother and his wife in the back cooking with the Ming, the Chinese guy. <laughs> 
I'm doing a show. I'm doing a show there. I bring this kid. He's to just bomb in front of me. He has. He's Italian. He's got fucking ten minutes of the best Italian jokes. Oh, he's killing. I've ever heard. They carry him out. You know, and Italian guys, they when they like you, they'll kiss you more than fucking you know gay guys. <laughs> well, I love this fucking. Well, this fucking. They carry him out, and then I gotta go up. And the fucking and the main guy Joe the Baba turns the chair around in front of me, right in the front row. And they're oh, all just staring man. at me. And it was the guys and their wives, not their chicks. Right. So this was the night. Like yeah, this was yeah. a serious <laughs> night. Oh, yeah. The the, the the wives were there, and uh, I go up and I'm like, what the fuck? I go, where's Ming? And they go, he's in the kitchen. And they grab a Chinese dude, an old Chinese dude, out of the kitchen and throw him on stage with me. He he Holy lost. Holy shit! I use him as a prop. He, That's I nice. did. I did for twenty minutes. I fucking <laughs> made fun of this Chinese dude. Chinese every, prop. Every Asian joke in the world, I did. <laughs> I think Chinese jokes could be very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. course they can. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Are we getting the uh, wrap up? What? We gotta get big hands out of here. Wrap up. Yeah, yeah. I just want to leave. I just, I know, right? Having fun. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's always too short, isn't it? Bye. <laughs> All right, Ange. Thank you. Bigger is better. Uh, the book, and of course, uh, the show. Uh, Big Ange. And don't forget the drunken monkey and the drunken Big monkey. Ange's new salon. Big Ange's secret in Staten Island. Wow, she's, wow. Uh, she's uh, moving and shaking. That, moving and shaking. All right. What's going on in my All right, All right. Come take come it easy, Ange. Thanks. Okay. Okay. And uh, I guess All we'll right. see everybody uh, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. You know Angel from the Scarface? Angel Salazar. Oh, he's so funny. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> check it out. <laughs> I would say, check it out. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. He's coming this this time. Yeah, yeah, he's coming. Um, I'll I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Check it out. I will. What do I ask for you? I'm right there. Let's go. I'm Come. waiting to hear. <laughs> oh, we had to kill someone last week. <laughs> <laughs> we had to kill. This. That's what I was hoping I know. For. We killed that bald comedian guy. What's his name? Uh, Not the one with the shit. thin lips, the full lips. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who's that big, huge guy? My Holy fuck. That's the fuck. husband. I told you, he's a yeah. big guy. You look at him, man. Oh, my God. Did we do hey. okay? Thumbs up? He's good. He looks like a nice enough fella, doesn't he? I'm, he's six, can he, six. Can he come in? He you want to come in for a dude, sec? Man. He's six, seven. He is a oh, big dude. Oh, excuse me. He's probably fucking full of life. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, we do all right? Yeah, you're a big fella. Hi, buddy. Big fella. We do all right? How yeah, you doing? Yeah. Holy fuck. So, uh, what, he's six seven. What's your yeah, name? Yeah. Neil. Neil. Yeah. Really? Neil what? Neil Murphy. 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 Hey. Right. Murph. <laughs> fucking Murph. Murphy. Hey. Of course. Murph. You got to be called Murph. Sully, you That's like Sully, <laughs> yeah. Anyone named Sullivan is Sully, yeah, yeah. you Murph. fucking prick. You <laughs> drunk <laughs> Mick motherfucker. Where you been? Oh, he used to be that. Yeah, huh? <laughs> he used to be that. <laughs> 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 I'm not allowed to be that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I do. He's a legend. I don't legend want to talk about him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't know. I, I, I so know him. Don't fucking challenge you me, Bobby. I already told you. I ain't lying. Who do people tell you look like? Who? In the face. Russell Crow. Yes, Russell Crowe. Yeah, you Crow. got a little Russell Crowe. There's happening. definitely some Russell Crowe there. I hear it all the time. Who, who, who are you talking to? Yeah, yeah. No. Right? Not you, Bobby. Right? Not you. I married him for the pension. He looks like for the pension. pension. That's it. I know. I was just. Are you not entertained? I was just helping the joke along. <laughs> he's a big guy. Yeah, he's a big guy. And, man. He's, and he's like, well, he's, he's got the big gal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. That's great, man. Oh, oh hey, you got the. Nice. Oh, you put those heels on. All of a sudden, yeah, a little taller. Right. Oh, I take a little photo. taller. Take a photo. All right, y'all. Sure. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> take it <Again>, easy. <laughs> all right, you've heard about it. You've waited four long hours for it. And now the moment you've waited for rears its ugly nose. Head after Opie and Anthony Live is coming up next.